What it is, everyone? It is me, Barack Obama. What you're about to see is a compilation of several videos we did of last year bundled up into a single video. Each season of videos is made up of about seven plus videos, most of which being the gameplay stuff and the last video being something a little different than usual. Anyways, while we try to prepare more videos for you all in the future, we hope you enjoy a trip down where we first began. What it is, everyone, it is I, Barack Obama, here with Donnie and Bidenator to play some Mr. Obama, President. What the f man? Hey, whoa, 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 Trump, I thought we told you no swearing allowed. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is supposed to be a family inclusive channel, my bad. Settle down, gentlemen. This is the first video on this channel, after all, so we can let that one slide. I will admit this is going to take a lot of getting used to. Wait, I just realized, are you bald, Donnie? Hey, that is rump, not me, all right? I don't know, Donald. He definitely takes after you from looks alone. I'm going to create a Mr. President the prequel and just slap you in the game and claim that's Broccoli Obama. Okay, okay, I'll actually save you this time. Please do everything in your power to stop associating me with rump, okay? Okay, rump, you got it, buddy. Joe, call me that again, and I promise you, you won't be seeing Joe tonight. See, it's fine, Trump. We saved Rump. You happy? A little bit, yeah. But for now, Rump and I are two separate people, period. Okay, that was unnecessary right there. What happens if you jump into the crowd? Do they parade you with hugs and kisses for saving Rump? No, you kind of just collide with them, except they're the unfazed ones, you know? It kind of makes me wonder if they should be the bodyguards instead. Good going, Bozo. Now you sent him flying into the softest sets of bricks I've ever seen. Sorry I didn't expect the bullet to come so soon. Maybe Rump should have moved out of the way next time. I'm more fascinated by the fact the crowd still seems cheery despite watching Trump, I, 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 I mean Rump getting shot like that. I'll let that one slide for now. I seriously wonder what the crowd is made of. Throwing your whole body into them doesn't scratch them. They're probably made of some sort of vibranium, like Captain America's shield or something like that. I'd be terrified if an entire society of citizens are made of a certain metal that not even gunshots can damage. At that point, might as well send them to the military if they're incapable of dying. Also, what is happening to Rump's legs, bro? It's almost as if they're having a stroke of their own of something. I don't know, Joe, but for now, Let's press on to the next mission. Holy moly, that was a fast bullet and a half. Obama, may I suggest you throw your body at the bullet if possible? Wow. Seriously? God. Look at that body go, bro. Okay, this is getting frustrating. Do I really have to catch the bullet or... Hey, whoa, language buddy. Sorry about that, Donnie. Your counterpart just needs to move out of the freaking way in order to live one more second. Maybe if the bodyguard catches the bullet, then... Oop, there you go. Man, finally done with that level. Finally. I cannot tell you how grateful I am that I am not in Rump's shoes right now. Even if I could move out of the way, a threat of an assassin onto me is kind of unnerving, you know? Actually, come to think of it, why are we playing Mr. President? And why is it, uh... Rump? Apparently, none of the other imposters on YouTube have played this game, so Obama told me. He suggested we give this game a shot, mainly because of the goal being to save Rump, who everyone believes to resemble me in such ways, even though I'd never stand there and willingly take a bullet to the stomach like a moron. Yeah, I'm glad you don't cause, then I wouldn't have to save your freaking rear. But what about the why? Because this game released in 2016 during the election of that year. Donald Trump was up against Hillary Clinton, remember? So glad I got her sorry butt out of the election or else she would have single-handedly wiped the entire country. I accidentally pressed the reset button, guys. Great, now we have to relive this torturous moment again. This game is really pulling my leg here. Wait, I did it? Golly, I thought I grew a beard watching that. Finally, we can get out of here. Okay, wait, what in the world is happening here, Trump? Why are you acting like as if I have done this myself? I have no clue what's happening. From the looks of it, you got way too much cash for your own good if it is all being poured into your mouth. What did I say about associating me with rump, Mr. Obama? My bad, sorry about that. Do you think anyone has ever attempted stealing all of the cash that's just on stage lying around on the floor? Probably knowing the civilians down here. Why and how was I sent flying like that? Maybe because there was nothing to break your speed. Well, at least you got rump that time. 
I'm starting to believe that the crowd in the room are the fakest I've seen in decades. Never have I ever seen them only produce one sound effect the entire time, even when Rump dies. Donnie, this game was likely produced with a budget of like $50. I'm pretty sure the individual who made this didn't care to program something like that. I hope if there's ever a sequel to this game, my crowd would be realer than uh, Rump's. I'm sorry, but why on God's green earth did my guy just fall down the stairs? Come on, you're a bodyguard. Walking down the stairs should be a baby's level difficulty. Maybe if you'd stop slamming yourself into the wall, this would be a bit more of a breeze if you ask me. Trump, what can I do to get you to handle the controls of this game? You can let me play this garbage in the next video if that ever rolls around sometime soon. A bodyguard who can take a bullet with his bare hands is incapable of not dying to anything that touches him. Are you allowed to hire a new guard or something? Gosh, come on, I'm right there. Just let me knock his stupid rear already. Never have I ever been so sick of the stairs. I can tell Barry's doing everything in his power to not cuss in this video. Yeah, surprisingly, cussing is way more a part of our language than we even realize. Although I find it kind of funny when we have to find words to work around the cussing. At least your guard's got some moves, though. Why did I press the retry button again? I swear you're about to make me the richest on earth with the amount of times you keep restarting on accident. Well, at least it wasn't a failed attempt like last time. What the? Are those actually bombs? All right, who in the world is throwing big massive bombs on stage and no one in the crowd is seeing this or doing anything about it? I'm just as shocked as you all are. Why on this game's soil has Rump only called for one security guard and not multiple God if someone in the stinking crowd was gonna throw bombs? Is no one gonna talk about how the bombs just destroyed the Rump statues made of gold? $50 game, Joe, remember that. Try knocking Rump by his left side and see if that'll avoid the bomb explosion radius. Oh, actually, that worked out just fine. Thanks, Donnie. You're welcome, Barry. Anytime, bro. Wait, before we move on to the next level, can I see something real quick? What is it, Joe? I noticed Rump is still moving on his own, so I want to see what... I'm suing whoever made this game! Why? I thought you were Trump, not Rump. Shut it, Awamna. This might be one of the best things I've seen in my 80-something years. Okay, seriously, why am I placed in some empty dome and have to crouch to escape to save Rump? I wish I could answer that question myself, but honestly, neither do I know. Nice jump, bro. Shut it, Trump. Nice going. Let's get on with the next stage. Trump, why is your counterpart just waving at the wall now? I'm not associated with that numbskull. Wow, how amazing. Rump's got so much money, he was so thoughtful to put it in my way to make it harder to save his butt. I'm truly praying to God people don't actually see me as they see Rump, because on God, would I let him get assassinated if this happened to me? I don't know why, but I feel you need to watch your tongue there when you say something like that. Welcome to another episode of I Can't Walk Down the Stairs because I'm Rump's bodyguard and I belong in a game with no budget behind it at all. <laughs> I hope you understand how frustrated I am with this game, Joe. Sorry, something about that was just funny. Whoa, nice Barry. Amazing job at sweeping his legs to save him. Thanks, Joe. I seriously hope that was the last level for you because I'm actually getting sick of seeing Rump and that annoying face of his. The irony of that comment. Haha, <laughs> good one. Mr. Barack Obama, do not pretend like I don't know where you live, you son of a- Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Despite my suffering, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This was kind of annoying to play, not gonna lie. If any of you want to see more of us playing whatever games we get on our plate, please be sure to like and subscribe for more. It helps us and Jared Gaming to produce more of these kinds of goofy videos. Don't expect these videos quite often. Jared and us already have a lot of business to attend to, especially me. As always, take care. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. You all. Open out my shotgun. That bird brain hasn't seen the last. Oh my god, what's going on? We're falling fast, boy. Whoa, hey, what are we playing, guys? Where am I? Welcome to the back rooms, AKA the complex found footage. The back rooms, the back rooms to what exactly? The back rooms to reality as you know it. This place can only be accessed by the unfortunate who clipped through reality itself and are punished by never ending rooms with nothing but more rooms to them. How on God's green planet does that even work? Beats me. I'd thought this would be an interesting second game to play on the channel, especially since it is a horror game. Whoa, wait, this is a horror game? 
You guys know I don't do well with horror games. That's specifically why you're the one to experience it, Joe. Plus, this one isn't that horrible. Not a whole lot happens here, I think. Very reassuring, mm -hmm, definitely. It's all fun and games until some monster appears from the shadows and starts to eat me whole, legs first. Uh, although there is something about this environment that's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me back in the days when I used to work in the back office buildings and rooms. Of course, it wasn't the most cut and dry of them all, so we had walls and floors kind of similar to this, you know? Tell me you're old without telling me you're old. What? He's just making fun of you for being an old man, Joe. Just keep pressing on through these rooms. Maybe you'll find something interesting. I'm not liking the glow in that spot. Why does it look so unsafe in there? Like there's an evil entity just waiting for me. I'm sure you'll be fine, Joe. It's probably just the coloration of the light being different from the others, that's all. I don't know why, but I'm on edge hearing my own footsteps. It's almost as if they're not mine. If a case happens and there is a time where it isn't your footsteps, we'll warn you. Gosh, how do I get out of here? I feel I've been in here for ages already and it's been only a few minutes. Guys, did you hear my question or not? See, uh, here's the thing, Joe. We're not exactly sure if there is a escape out of the back rooms at all, to be frank with you. What? How's that possible? Are you telling me someone constructed this building and managed to seal off or hide the exit door, trapping me in it? Mr. Biden, no one constructed this building at all. In fact, calling it a building is very much underselling the premise. Okay, wait. Can you remind me what this place is again? Did you already forget what I told you in the beginning? The back rooms is a place only accessible to the unfortunate who clipped out of reality itself. It's a zone that can stretch up to 600 million miles, containing nothing but more walls and flooring to walk through and occasionally more environments to pass through as well. Not to mention the entities that may or may not room these parts. I'm sorry, did you mention something about monsters? Was I signed up for a death trap or something? For now, you're fine, Joe. No, wait, hold on here, you two. I know you said this is a horror game. But first, I've been told I'm just walking through a building, but now I'm being told I somehow need to fend myself against whatever is nearing me. How am I supposed to run away from something if I'm basically stuck here forever? Actually, I said entities, but sure thing, Joe. We'll try and inform you when the time comes, Joe. We promise. Okay, wait, I just realized, why am I in this empty bowling alley when earlier I was in some sort of empty office building? The back rooms is comprised of many different environments, as I said before, Joe. Some can range from what you saw earlier, while others can be as weird and out of place as a parking lot. Are you sure this isn't like some fever dream I'm having or something? No, although I get why you would assume so. Oh, a library. I love libraries. I remember taking my son there a lot of the time back when he was a little dumpling. Ah, oh, man, the books he would read as a kid. He was so pure back then. Yeah, and now he is everything but innocent, and you know exactly what I mean, Mr. Biden. Okay, hey, hold on. Why is this particular hallway so incredibly dark? I'm not a fan of this. Oh, good Lord, please help me. Jill, where are you? Settle down, Biden. I can see a tiny light at the end of the tunnel. One tiny light ain't gonna be reassuring enough if something was lurking in these dark parts. Oh, thank heavens. This might be exactly what I was hoping for. A library. This doesn't feel like a library. What is this place? This seems like one of the many rooms, home to the back rooms. It's a place that looks and resembles a library, but is completely devoid of people and light sources in specific corners. Donald, do you know so much about this, or are you just speaking out of your rear? I will admit, it's both. My knowledge about the back rooms in general is kind of lacking. But I know enough to explain a couple of things. Can you explain to me how do I get out of this godforsaken place? Ah, uh, yes, I can. You see, that's my favorite question to answer because I usually let them assume things on their own and purposefully build up to the answer to such a question only to respond to them with a big fat no. I don't know if I should feel humored or if I should feel bad for anyone who's asked that question. Feel bad for me.
I know I forget things a lot, but this doesn't look like something I've seen before. Yes, that is true. You very likely haven't seen many of these places or abstract constructions before because they are fragmented in such a skewed way. It's almost like it is meant to depict the mind of a dementia brain. Was, was that even grammatically correct? If you pretend like it is, then it is. Why is it now this place is starting to make me feel claustrophobic? I don't remember the back rooms being this linear before. Don't worry, it's usually not this claustrophobic further down the lane. Just keep going, Joe. What's going on in that room? And why is there suddenly an extreme amount of rumbling? Hey, wait a second. This kind of looks like one of those daycare rooms I used to drop my son at. Golly, the memories are starting to flow back to me. Back when Hunter was a cute little boy, me and my wife Jill would drop him off at the daycare because we had a conference almost every week. Admittedly, it was about a bunch of nonsense, but money really is everything. I'm sorry, did we just witness a Biden episode or something? Beats me, though I can't really say I'm too surprised. I swear Joe Biden's memory bank is like a switch. It just chooses when it comes back or not, and this is probably one of those days. Gosh, why does it have to be so unbelievably dark in certain areas like this right here? What's a horror game without dark rooms, especially if it's a game that's meant to be atmospheric? I don't care about atmosphere. I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. A red carpet? Where am I? Oh goodness, more memories are coming back to me. Back in my day, before we even had a lot of money, we used to move from house to house. But there was this one house we stayed at for about a few years that had a kitchen table like this. I can't remember if there was a giant window at the end of it, but our dinner area looked quite similar to this. Even this area that has the walls of a public bathroom and the other area with the looks of an unfinished museum? No, remember what I said earlier? I'm just trying to get out of here as soon as possible. That was just my hands getting to ahead of my mind. All right, whatever you say, Joe. What in the back rooms of madness is that thing at the end of that hall? I actually think that's just a statue, Joe. You're fine. Didn't Donald say there are monsters here? What if that monster is the statue and it's waiting for me to approach it so it can take a bite out of me? I'm not going near that thing. Come on, coward, do it. It's just a video game after all. Do it for the content, Sleepy Joe. No, 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 no. See, this is where you're taking advantage of the fact I'm afraid of horror games and their nature. I swear that thing is waiting for me to approach it. Yeah, I'm very positive that is just a plain, simple statue. All right, fine. I'll come closer to it. If I die, remember, this is all your fault. You say that as you walk right past it. I didn't say I would walk up on it. I said I would get closer to it. You know what this place kind of reminds me of? I remember watching this video of some more found footage style back rooms video, and there was this one where the individual in question was in a room quite similar to this place. One part of it, he shined a flashlight at a dark corner of the room and saw the largest and most aggressive moth I have ever seen. Excuse me, a giant freaking moth? I haven't watched that many back rooms videos, but is there seriously a giant moth that attacks you? Is it in this game? Hold on, wait, do you guys hear that beeping noise? Oh yeah, I do actually, what is that? Suddenly I'm unsure if I want to check it out. God dang, that is actually so loud, I can barely hear you, Joe. Did you say something, Barry? That is one very steep drop. Did you say something, Donnie? The view from that window, though. What is it with all of these items just kind of existing in these back rooms? Legend has it that some of these items actually didn't originate from here, but from the world above it. Phasing through reality to enter this place doesn't just only apply to human beings alone. 
Wait, then why are these items so neatly propped up if they just entered in on their own? Remember that we're not the first people to have entered in the back rooms. Wait, are you serious about that? Joe, think about it. Why else would I know so much if we were the first ever to enter in? But why would we know anything about this place if no one has ever escaped? Actually, speaking of escaping, why are there elevators in the back rooms? Well, you see, Obama, the reason is because... And that's why there are elevators in the back rooms, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's actually kind of interesting, Donald. All right, are you guys absolutely certain this isn't a fever dream I'm having? Why are we now located in some indoor swimming pool area with lots of sunlight? Again, this is one of many rooms that make up the back rooms. I get that, but at this point, this is starting to make no sense at all. This has to be some kind of fourth dimension I'm in or something. A room like this just shouldn't be here. Not to mention that the light coming from the windows almost gives me the impression that we're in some sort of void. There's literally nothing behind those windows except white. Is this somehow bringing back any particular memories of this place, Joe? Actually, no, not really. I've been to swimming pools before, obviously, but never ever found one that was indoors and was illuminated with this much light. The walls definitely feel very familiar, but not the fact of this being indoors. I myself don't remember having to navigate through a semi-dark hallway, barely lit up by the light ahead while having my knees in the water still. What is this area and what is that ominous noise in the distance? It might just be the ambiance, Joe. It's all right. Actually, now that you mention it, why are there set up chairs and couches in this darker area of the pool? Did people come down here with their couches and decided to crib out in this area? Beats me honestly. There's a chance many people have spent time here together or something. Seriously, this ambiance is really putting me on edge. I don't like it here at all. Okay, so it seems like I can't go that way for some reason. There's probably one other route we could try that we saw earlier. I guess we'll just try walking through this area and see where it leads us. Am I making assumptions or does that kind of look like a dead end? It kind of does, judging by the lack of light in there and with how close the walls are in that little area. Dang it. Guess we're going that one other way we passed by earlier. How long do you think people have lasted in these areas? If I'm being honest with you, I don't think they've lasted that long. It's well known that our body needs water and food, and without both of those, you can die as early as five days later. So not only do the people down here lack any sort of supplies to last on, but with how long and endless these areas can feel, you might actually go crazy and start doing some mad stuff. Wait, so how many more of these areas are there if people might just die before even experiencing everything? Probably not that long, to be honest. Wait a second, either I'm crazy or we were just here before. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I think he's serious, Obama. This might be square one. For real? We're basically circling around the entire area, dude. Is this what the back rooms does to you? I'm feeling crazy just from knowing I'm back here. Yeah, this might be the effects of being stuck in here. Great. Now we might be losing Joe to the horrors of the rooms out of reality itself. You're also telling me the elevator no longer works now? I guess we somehow have to find a new one. Great. This place sucks. I gotta get out of here somehow. Where on this godforsaken room is the path out of here? Maybe we need to look harder or something. There's no way this is where it ends. Dear God, I know we have a rocky relationship, but I need a way out of here. I don't want to die here all alone in the room outside of reality. Please, God, I beg, I'll do anything. I don't know why, but I feel that's not how this works, Joe. Actually, you'd be surprised how forgiving God is. Wait, have I seen this way before? 
Eureka, a way out, guys. God is great. I cannot believe this whole time you've happened to have never checked that side of the wall until now. It's fine. Now we can get out of here. Let me out. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay, Joe, it's not that serious, bro. Come on. Joe, it's okay. You're in the elevator. It's all right. You made it. Oh, my goodness. It works, guys. The elevator works. All right. Well, what now while we wait? Well, while we're on the topic, we could talk. And that's why we never saw the Mothman ever again. (laughs) (laughs) That actually was a good story, Biden. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm stuck in here. Fun's over, everyone. That's all right. We can carry out this conversation once we find the other elevator. Why must the claustrophobia return again? Is it so hard to ask to walk down corridors that aren't as thin as Donald's All right, Joe Biden, do me a favor and stop right there. Do not carry out that joke. It's not funny. I don't know. For a second, I thought it was pretty funny. Barack, I don't think you're one to talk when it comes to someone else's private information that must not be mentioned to our family-inclusive audience or else people will come for our throats. I don't know why, but I, for some reason, don't trust this elevator. It can't be that easy. What? Joe Biden, have you gone insane? What makes you not trust an elevator that was so easy to find? It's a couple red flags, Obama. First of all, it was very easy to find. Second of all, that radio static thing was giving me chills down my spine. And third of all, I didn't even get to talk about my resurfacing memory of booking a hotel once before with little Hunter Biden. Okay, wait, hold on. Have we been here before? Why does this kind of look like that one office building I was stuck in before? I'm hesitant to say it's exactly the same. I don't remember seeing whatever this thing is. On second thought, I want to get in that elevator. What was that noise just now? I don't know. Hurry up, Joe. That was actually a little tense, not gonna lie. Have we learned our lesson now, gentlemen? Always get in the elevator above all else. Whoa, Whoa, what was that? that? Let's get to the corner. Everyone knows the corner's the safest spot in the elevator. Is that actually how this works? I'm a little bit too freaked out to think about that through and through. Okay, seriously, what's going on? Why are there just chairs blocking us from whatever hell is ahead? This is one of the few times where I need you to not ask me questions, Quickie, Joe. gentlemen, let's calm down. Freaking out this much isn't going to help us. Oh, God, Joe. Joe Biden, was that you, sir? Sorry, my bad. Guess that whole situation got me gassy. Oh, great. Whatever that noise is, is still here. Wait, you're telling me it followed us here? Oh, that's just fantastic. We probably should think of a plan to evade whatever's after us. How are we going to do that if it looks like we're back into the office building? I don't know. At this point, I'd suggest you pick a direction and book it or something. We don't have many options here now, do we? Yeah, at this point, I agree with Obama. Just pick some direction. What in the world is this place? It kind of looks like a stadium or some sort of play, the type where you sit in those bleachers and watch whatever skit happens for the passing time. Do you think it'll notice us if we walk in here? Honestly, I think it will eventually. Which means it's probably best we skidaddle out of here. Okay, wait, what are the chances we're just getting closer to whatever that thing is? I can't be the only one thinking the noise is getting much louder by the second. Why is it that the very second you mentioned it, it stopped making that noise? I'm starting to think it knows we're approaching a destination that it wants us to go to. God, man, I hate this place. I'm so mad I even signed up for this at all. This was all fine and dandy until whatever that noise was started intruding. Is this really the same place we were at in the beginning? It kind of looks a bit different if you ask me. 
There's a chance we could have just been transported to another part of the office looking area. Oh my God. What is it, Joe? Did you guys not just see uh, branch looking arms that were poking out from behind that wall over there? Branch looking arms, what are you talking about? Wait, hold up, this could actually be bad. You might want to get out of there, Joe. Donald, I need to know what was that thing? That thing with branch looking arms is an entity that roams this area. If you think you saw his arms, that means he might be closer than we think. He might even be planning to sneak up on us. Oh, so you're telling me I should run? Yeah, that's my favorite plan. Come on, elevator. Don't fail me now, please. I need you more than ever right now. Whew, we're good. How many more levels just are there, Donald? At this point, neither do I know. Judging from what happened earlier, we were dropped off at the office again. So for all I know, this elevator will just take us somewhere we've been before. Wait, am I hearing crickets? Oh no, I think I know where we are. Okay, there's just no way now. I think I get it now. I'm in that one place God forbids. I'm being punished for my sins, aren't I? That's the only logical explanation on what's going on. Earth to Joe Biden. Are you okay, sir? Give him a moment, Obama. I'm pretty sure his mind's having a stroke over seeing the night sky turn red like as if someone flipped a light switch. Like, how in the multiverse of madness does a back rooms, a place with so many indoor places, including a pool area, suddenly homes a friggin' neighborhood under the night sky? This is straight up an outside area trapped in whatever heck hole I'm in. Looking at the shadows, it definitely looks like there's a light source not too far from here. Meaning this place is somehow sealed in some indoor area with a illusionary sky. Not to mention not much of this neighborhood could actually be traversed in the first place. At least this place actually has a radio station with some relaxing music to listen to. Might put me to sleep if I stay here for too long. What kind of place is this where, for once, there's a functioning radio station that doesn't just give us static noises? That's a question I do not have answers to, unfortunately, guys. Kind of doesn't make any sense if you ask me. I just realized, Joe, it's been a bit since you've mentioned anything about your life stories or flowing memories and whatnot. I feel there's some sort of memory flowing, but because of the bright redness in the night, nothing's really resurfacing at all. These houses somewhat bring back memories, but the red is really blocking that flow. Oh God, it's that noise again. It's gotta be down there, everyone. Oh, that's fantastic. So now we're once again not alone. Donald, come on, is there an exit out of here? I'm sorry you have to give me a second. I'm having a decision crisis right now. I can't tell if I want Joe to run or walk to the noise. Why on God's green little planet do you want Joe to walk towards an entity you said could kill him? Actually, technically, I never said whatever entity it is or was would kill him. I only suggested to run because it was the entity from the office place which will kill you. Hey, it doesn't really matter what you say, Donald. I'm walking away. I really don't like the energy radiating out of the extremely dark zone. I want to say that's lame, but on the other hand, that's certainly the better decision to make. Probably best, since I still don't remember all of the entities that are in the back rooms. What are the chances that's another elevator? I think it is, actually. I can see it from afar, and it looks like one. That's some great news. We can get out of here, everyone. Why is it actually really dark over here? I don't know, Joe. Just keep going. We're almost out of here. Why are there small pink looking houses in the elevator station? Beats me Obama. I'm only partly aware of this area, but I don't really know the lore of it quite too well, to be honest. Oh, the sweet, sweet, lovely feeling of being in the elevator. Nothing's as good as leaving a horrendous place after so much torment. We're not even done yet, Joe. Don't get that excited. Just let him have his moment, Donald. All right. Wherever we go next, hopefully won't be as weird as this one was.
And then I said to her, you know, for someone talking this much smack, you realize you're at coughing distance, right? <laughs> Wait, what the? Okay, I'm fed up with these back rooms. Now we're just straight up in the middle of nowhere with only a house in sight. Well, what in the actual frick is going on in here where now we're stranded in a snow area? Donald, this is supposed to be the part where you butt in and say something about your knowledge of this place. I'm going to be frank with you. I have no idea what this place is, gentlemen. Oh, that's just great. So now we're all just clueless cows wandering a foreign land. Seems so, unfortunately, but don't worry. All we have to do is find another elevator. Easy for you to say, Joe. Wait a second. I just realized something. This may or may not be important information. Well, share anyway, Mr. Trump. Every time we ride the elevator, our perception tells us that we're going down in the elevator, right? I'm not the only one who thinks this. Yeah, I assume so, too. What about it? Have any of you noticed how we were dropped off in here? From the looks of how the elevator was structured, it's now giving me the impression that we were going up instead of going down, meaning we were likely climbing up the back rooms. What's so significant about this information? This means if we find another elevator, unless the back rooms has its own properties of logic, we'll likely be descending back into where we may or may not have came from. Are you suggesting we may be trapped in some kind of loop forever and ever, unless something phenomenal happens midway through? That is unfortunately precisely what I'm talking about. Just our luck. So you really weren't kidding when you said there is no way out. Even though we suggested so, there was a part of me that was hoping I was wrong. Oh, wow. Even more so that we don't even have a proper restroom to use. This truly is the underworld. Who would have thought death by boredom would be so cruel? Never thought to see it. All right, God, I'm once again coming to you in the hopes you would hear my prayers and get us out of this heck hole. We don't want to die to the backrooms, God. If this seriously works somehow, I guess I would have no choice but to follow Christ. In the meantime, does anyone have anything to talk about? Well, I guess while we're at it, I could talk about what's going on between me and Michelle. Wow, I'm sorry to hear about that, Joe. It's fine, Donnie. Next time I find that seagull, I'm whipping out my shotgun. That bird brains hasn't seen the last. Oh my God! What's going on? We're falling fast. Ah! What do you know? We made it out, guys. I cannot believe that actually worked out in the end. Okay, can we now break the role play act now? It's getting very hard to keep up with it. Hey, I might as well since we're done with the video pretty much. Despite my suffering, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a wild ride. We'd appreciate if you would give this video a like and subscribe. It helps us and Jared Gaming push more of these kinds of videos for you all. Just don't expect them at a frequent pace. All of us are busy one way or another, including Jared. As always to you all, take care. And, and God, God bless, bless you, you all. all. Wait, hold up. Is he here right now? Oh, my gosh. Yes, he is. What in the name of this island is he doing here right now? I don't know, Donald. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. Sir, who the heck are no, you? I don't remember speaking to Biden's long-lost cousin this. about gold mines last You're time I checked my calendar. Wow, not even 10 seconds in and your mouth has opened up wide, well, I see. At least we know for certain we're watching island. Donald Trump play. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. Of course, so after all, the 45th president has taken many seen. things down and myself. An Throw friend. anything at me and I'll knock yes, it down with my hands. Meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. All right, what on God's green earth is that thing? The thing you're taking down with your bare hands, Donald. Excuse me, that thing? Have fun, Donnie. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. 
half train, half giga spider from hell. Ah, uh, hell nah. A giant freaking big massive spider? Are you insane, Joe Biden's cousin? Why do you keep referring to him as my cousin? That should not take a mad scientist to put together a joke, Joe. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. Ah, uh, great. Thanks for letting me know. Joe's cousin. What it is, everyone, it's me, Barack Obama. Today, we're joined with Joe Biden to witness Donald J. Trump trying to catch the world's largest spider known to man. No, sir, I'm not catching this thing. I'm burning it to shreds when possible. Humanity does not need no creature a size like that. I'm grateful to have never fought that thing in the back rooms. My soul would have erupted just glancing at that thing. Anyways, for those who are curious, this is Choo Choo Charles, a horror game where we battle against a demon train who's been terrorizing a village or something like that. This is one of the only few horror games we were able to find that Donnie himself doesn't know too well. So seeing this should be interesting. Even with the very little knowledge I know, I'll still kick this thing's rear, no doubt. There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Take this map, I just marked the location on it. Joe, why is your cousin's neck seemingly disproportionate? Like as if it's been stretched. Is he an alien or something? Donald, I have no clue who this guy is. Can you stop asking me questions or making comments about him being my cousin? I'll probably stop when he's dead, all right? You're probably not going to stop after that, are you, Donald? Likely not. I'll probably still keep going with it even without realizing it. This old train right here actually doesn't look half bad for something so simple. Kind of want to ride it myself. No, little Joe, this is for the grown-ups only. And the grown-ups have to use it to kill a demonic spider train thing that's killing people. Well, what about afterwards? Will it be free to ride then? Just because you asked, no. Something tells me a gun like that isn't going to be enough to take down that train demon. Yeah, I suspected as much as you did. We're screwed. We'll make it work, gentlemen. Totally. Well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> we can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? That's a red flag already. That, no, absolutely not, sir. Well, it doesn't seem like he cares either way, so I guess we're moving this baby ahead. Full speed ahead, baby. boys. We're coming for you, Charles! I know for a fact this is about to go down pretty bad. It's him! Ah, oh, hell nah! We're fighting this thing with a pea shooter! Are you crazy, Joe Biden's cousin? Okay, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't know it'd be this early. What was my cousin thinking of facing this demon this early into the game? Shut up, Joe Biden's cousin! Oh no, this is bad! Not my cousin! Oh, this is so, so horrible! He isn't alive after that, is he? How could he be? Bro got stabbed in all angles by like four large spider legs. <laughs> this isn't how things were supposed to end. Oh yeah, he is 100% dead. Ain't no way he's gonna live with a giant hole in his stomach and scratches around the neck. No, this can be. We just reunited minutes ago and now he's gone. Excuse me, is Donald messing with you that good or something? Is he actually your cousin? No, I'm not joking. Eugene is actually my long-lost cousin. I was just denying it um, because not only did I forget, but I didn't want to admit to Donald being right about him being my cousin. Not gonna lie, that was the last thing I expected to hear from you. You've now intrigued me with this Eugene guy just because he's actually your cousin. Are none of us gonna talk about the fact that Eugene is dead? I'm um, sorry, uh, who's Eugene again? I forgot. All right, Sleepy Joe, what the actual f where do we plan on going, gentlemen? For now, I think we plan on going to the blue-colored icon because it's a required mission. I believe it'll be the best thing to see what dipping my toes into this hell water feels like. Dang, now that we have a better look at this, this is a pretty large area we're traveling in. Not gonna lie. All right, that should lead us to the right direction. Onwards, gentlemen. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of relaxing. Riding the train down some long railing with the boys is actually quite nice. Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, this is quite nice. Maybe sometime in the future we can do something like this when we meet up again. If I'm not mistaken, there might be a recently built train station around my area. So maybe we can meet up where I'm at if that works. 
Sounds like a plan, gentlemen. We've arrived to our destination, boys. What a small house this individual lives in. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. I'm sorry, this thing lays eggs now? Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. And a cult too? Wow, how amazing. There's just an our egg luck, gentlemen. in the mine just down the rail. It's no wonder I was called here. They want me, the 45th president of the United States, take down both a cult and a massive demonic spider. I don't know about you, but that sentence alone makes this feel like a very daunting task. I don't know if I myself would be able to deal with that. It's okay, Joe. That's why they want the bigger man to do it, a K.A. me. Wow, someone's feeling very confident now, even though earlier you were complaining about fighting that spider train thing. Obama, has your mom ever taught you the most important thing about organizing a cult in the U.S.? Um, no, actually. What is it? When you organize a cult, the biggest mistake you could ever make when doing so is creating or organizing a cult when the President of the United States of America is me. Maybe this island really does need Donnie. Just listen to him. He sounds like the guy to kill a demonic spider. All right, let us check this place out, gentlemen. While mining the farthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here, and we don't know what it is. We're requesting that Mr. Warren visit the Southern Mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instructions. What do you think that note was about? From assumptions alone, there's a chance your long-lost cousin found one of those eggs that woman earlier was talking about, and whoever this Warren guy is is likely keeping it captive. Maybe he's the leader of this cult Donnie was referring to? Guys, hold on. I think we have company. Okay, so Warren was smart enough to hire a guard to keep the egg at bay. Guess we're sneaking around him, boys. Ooh, playing stealthy, my favorite. That has to be the egg the woman earlier mentioned. And now it's ours. That was easy. Maybe Warren only invited deaf guards, or maybe his whistling is so loud he just couldn't hear my footsteps. All right, well, let's book it out of here now, just to be safe. We probably should head over to whoever this is. There's a chance he may give us a weapon to work around our little pea shooter. Hopefully it would be something to take that thing down for good so we can avenge Eugene. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> So now we have to save this guy's shed for a flamethrower, I heard. Sounds quite useful if you ask me. Are spiders in real life allergic to flames? From what I heard, it's usually a terrible strategy because of the fact that a flamethrower can cover more than just a spider. Supposedly homes were burnt down just trying that idea. Wait, extinguishing this dude's shed was as easy as a water tank? Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. Woohoo! No wonder his shed was on fire. Here, take old bug spray cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Oh yeah, it's time, gentlemen. Wow, this is a nice weapon to make up for the pathetic little pea shooter. The only thing that sucks is that they both at some point overheat, so I guess I have to switch back and forth between both weapons to fight the demon train. Guess that means we'll in general need more weapons or something. Look, kid. I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but. Sir, what is wrong with your neck? I don't think I've seen anyone used. stretch it like that to make Little the most awkward 90 degrees I've ever seen. All right, so we're supposed to unlock this chest because it wouldn't budge open for him. Of course, he would leave it to me, the 45th president of the United States of America, to do such a task. You say that as you keep failing? Shut it, Obama. This requires more concentration than you think. Sure thing, Donald.
Easy as always for me. That took so long, I'm actually quite positive Joe's asleep right now. Sleepy Joe, are you asleep right now? Joe? Mr. Biden, make your rule up this instance. Oh, what? Jill, is that you? Please don't spank Hunter again. He's just had a rough day today. Excuse me, what? All right, well, now that we have enough scraps, it's about time we actually upgrade this dump. Hopefully then would we finally stand a chance against that demon. I don't know if this upgrade will be enough, guys. Then we'll just find more scraps to make up for it, I assume. Was that him or the ambiance? I don't know, but just prepare for the worst, Donald. All right, well, this should be where we need to be, gentlemen. Do every single one of these people live in such small houses, or are we just somehow cherry-picking? Wait, hold up. Is he here right now? Oh, my gosh. Yes, he is. What in the name of this island is he doing here right now? I don't know, Donald. Just burn him to smithereens. I'm trying, Obama, but these weapons burn out so quickly. Gosh darn it, Charles. Why of all times must you catch me this off-guarded? Just die already! Donald, it's not working. What do we do? I don't know, Joe. Well, think of something quick, because... Great, just great. Now we're dead. I did tell you to prepare for the worst, Donald. Shut it, Obama. All right, well, I guess we really do need to upgrade this bad boy after that failure of a fight. You know what, Charles? Come at me again, and I'll be very much ready next time. That was just one round out of best of three. You've only won the first round. Didn't Charles technically won the best of three already? No, that was Joe's cousin's fault. We even got into a fight that early. This is only the beginning. I'm sorry, Eugene. Please forgive us. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve it. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up the path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. Okay, so now that we're away from him, am I allowed to talk about how weird his voice is? I don't think a normal human being would in the West would ever have a frog blocking their throat like that. On one hand, I'd call you insensitive, but on the other hand, I don't disagree either. Even though Eugene has promised to send help once he reaches the mainland, I've just realized he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he is the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Everyone on the island is trying to find a way out of this mess, and I can only hope that this archivist friend of his can work some magic. I don't care what strange things they've done before or what practices they use as long as Charles ends up dead. Most folks around here want the same, but then there are those crazies that want to leave him be. That darn Warren has lost his marbles. So there really is a cult going on here? I knew it. What gave you the assumption of that? Joe, come on. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to put the two and two together. Madman Warren lost his marbles. People rather they leave Charles B. And mines that likely are owned by Warren have Charles eggs being kept deep in while being watched over by security. It's obvious at this point. Speaking of cult, did any of you notice how that one guard we saw at the mines looked to have been wearing some sort of mask? Proving my point even further with that piece of evidence. Well, now that you put it that way, I guess I can't disagree with that idea. I need my pickles! I'm already sensing a lot of red flags out of this individual. Why are her arms spread out like an old lady wanting to give a hug? And why did she just shout to the world for pickles? Are we not going to talk about how uncanny her expression was during that conversation? Especially her eyes. Something looked wrong with them. I find it very funny how none of you chose to mention all of the NPC's expressionless faces until right now because she asked for pickles. Would you have rather I'd mention it from the beginning? Oh, nice. I didn't know we could paint our train till now. Okay, now that's just weird. How much do you want to bet she's somehow part of a cult? I can't think of a normal human being who demands pickles like she did. Easy money, easy money. Why in the world couldn't you have done that a couple minutes back at that one other place with the weird neck guy? That back there was just my warm-up, like that first round we had with Charles. Please do not call me that, ma'am. That sounds incredibly weird. Thanks for the scraps, I guess, weirdo. All right, now it's time to really upgrade this bad boy. Serious question, gentlemen. Whenever a full-on one-on-one happens with that demon, 
Do you think we could win? I would have earlier said absolutely. But honestly, I think you should re-ask me that question whenever I get into another small fight with him, and maybe I'll have a proper answer. Whatever the case may be, I hope you can win, Donald. Thanks, Barry. My goodness. The others actually convinced someone to come help us. Honestly, you're all lucky. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Of course you forgot something, who wouldn't? Gosh, man. It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. Wow, that is indeed a far journey for someone on foot. Guess he should have just not have forgotten your most important item, huh? Haven't you forgotten some stuff before when you went on trips or something? Once before and never ever again. Wish that were me. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We are tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. Oh, great. So now you're telling me he has power over this island? Does this technically make him the governor or something? I assume so, gentlemen. Something must have happened in the middle if he's lost his marbles. What a crazy town we're trying to defend, from one weirdo to another. Oh, what's that? You want a round two? I'll give you a round two, Charles. It's time to fight again. This time, I'm not going to let you have the upper hand like you did last time. I'm going to make you cry to your mommy after I flame your ugly baby face. Yeah, go get him, Donald. Eat this, you ugly freak. Yeah, keep crying about it. I wouldn't want my face on fire now, would I? Maybe you should have never challenged the one and only Donald J. Trump to a one-on-one -on -one fight. Matter of fact, maybe you should have never been born as a demonic spider in the first place. Hasn't your mom ever taught you to never challenge a fearless man with loaded weapons and firearms like me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Run away like a coward, Charles. Wow, that was awesome, Trump. That was one crazy fight you put up, Trump. I'm proud of you. Thanks, you two. Those kind words means a lot to me. Oh, yeah, Donald, about that question. Don't worry, Biden. I'm sure as heck gonna slap this ugly spider out of this island, and I will avenge your long-lost cousin as well. Wow, I guess this island will be saved in your hands, Donnie. All right, well, should we end the video here today, gentlemen? Sure thing. I think that was a wonderful note to go off of. Eugene can rest well, knowing we got this in the bag. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video we brought to you all today. This was a wild one, so I hope we did a good job entertaining you all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps us and Jared produce more of these videos. By the way, thank you, everyone, for the insane amount of support you've been giving us lately. It's honestly amazing seeing how quickly the previous two videos blew up unexpectedly. We hope to keep going and provide you more of these videos. Well, other than that, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all. Oh, hey, I don't know what that, why is there music playing? These animatronics have to be on kill mode or something. There's no... What it is, everyone, it is me, Barack Obama, here with Bidenator and Donnie to play a game a couple imposters may have already played. But we're playing it anyways because we're cooler. Am I right, guys? Totally agree, Joe. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, the classic founding father of indie horror games. Once again, we know many have already played this one, but we wanted to give this a shot ourselves and see what happens. Another reason being that Obama and Biden don't know Five Nights at Freddy's that well. So they're getting a new experience out of this, which will be interesting. Well, without further introduction, I think it's appropriate to get started right now. What do you say, gentlemen? Yes, let's get into it. It's about time we dip our toes into this rabbit hole. Family pizzeria looking for security guard to work the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Did I just see that correctly? What is it, Barry? This night shift is worth only $120 a week. That's not even enough to afford a gaming console, let alone a space to live in. That's not even enough to survive in the economy we're living. What kind of job is this? I'm not even going to make the joke, because likely everyone knows what I was going to say. How the heck do I pick up the phone? Something about the ringtone of the phone sound like one I had back in my days in the back office. Hello? Hello? 
Hello, yes, this is former 44th president of the U.S. Barack Obama. Why does this place actually look so unnerving for a family-friendly pizzeria? Do you think we got scammed? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, considering we're getting paid basically no survivable money at all. Also, what are those nightmare fueling things? Are they the things we're supposed to be watching? Judging from the names of the camera footage, maybe we're actually in showbiz right now. Showbiz? What the heck is that? It's an old pizza place that had animatronics as the main attractions to entertain the kids. Joe Biden might be drawing the similarities between the two because here you're actually watching over this pizzeria's animatronics for the night. Wait, it's these robots I'm looking out for. Can't they just fend for themselves? Who would unironically come here to steal or tamper with these things? Actually, you'd be quite surprised, Obama. Many do so, especially if there's a heated competition between one pizzeria and another. Wait, did something like that actually happen? This phone guy says that as one of my cameras is disabled for some reason. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. If my children ever heard of this restaurant, I'd highly doubt these animatronics would ever hold a special place in my children's hearts. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. About their Wait, did he just say something about a free roaming mode at night? A free roaming mode for the nighttime? That doesn't sound right. I don't remember Showbiz having their animatronics doing that. Okay. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if it, Yes, please tell me the risks of being paid 120 a week. They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. What? Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad. If the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices. Wait, was I actually set up for a death trap? Area. The only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. Here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. This is a horrible yeah, job. You'd think something of detail as that would be one of the first few paragraphs you'd see? Instead, they just hide that information from you. So glad Showbiz never did something like that. Otherwise, I would have heard complaints on the newspapers till they get shut down because of it. Honestly, I'm not surprised a pizzeria like this would hide that information. Wait, I just realized, is this place abandoned or something? What makes you say that, Obama? Well, just from this camera alone, I can see spider webs that look like they've been there for quite some time, meaning whoever are the cleaning crew, they either have been slacking off or are absent from this place. Secondly, several lights look like they're about to burn out, either because they're flickering or just that dim. And thirdly, why is my office such a disgusting mess? What I want to know is how a job application for being a security guard in the night shift for this place even passed the green light and made it on the newspapers. You'd also be surprised how easy it was for something that small to slip by like that. Either I'm crazy or he wasn't there before. Oh shoot, so they actually do move? There's no way around it. I had to have been set up. Why would they want me to be a night shift guard for a place with animatronics and not acknowledge what I should do if a burglar showed up? I already hate this job. Did the phone say something about closing your doors for a prolonged period? Obama, look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Wait, what? And this place runs on limited power? Who's the individual that did the infrastructure of this place? Who's responsible for this? Who can I sue? Because I'm suing millions for this death trap. Obama, why aren't you unlocking the doors if your power is being drained by that much? Because he's right there. What am I supposed to do about that? I suggest unlocking the other door then. Okay, fine. As long as the others don't move then, sure. God dang. When the heck does this one move away? How fat is he to be seated at my door for this long? There's a part of me that wonders if it's because our cameras are darted at him, so he's refusing to move till they're not anymore. Then how long should I not look at him then? I don't know. We're talking about animatronics moving in the night. How should I know? At this point, I'm going to run out of power. It's been an entire hour, and he's still here. Some part of me wants to say you should try unlocking the door for a moment and see what happens. But I'm assuming that spells death for you. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that door being open. Wait, what happened to my cameras? Who and what is that? Even show business animatronics weren't this bad back in the days. This is just straight up corrupted people behind this pizzeria. Hilarious you say that about the establishment. Why is that funny? If you knew the lore of this game, you'd know why. 
to add insult to injury, now the chicken is moving. Are you sure that's not a duck or something? Well, now that the blue one's finally done seating at my door, I can open this now. But now you have basically no power left and it's only 4 a.m., Barry. Don't worry, we'll totally make it through. We just have to believe in the power holding up. Where the heck is that thing? I can't find him again. Yo, why is he looking at me like that? Is that normal? I don't remember his head looking at me like that. Yeah, never mind. I think we're screwed. Okay, so what happens if the power actually does run out? Okay, I'm getting freaked out about this. Why is it this dark in the office? Once again, I must ask. Why does a security office run on a limited battery life? Oh, hell no, what's that? Why is there music playing? These animatronics have to be on kill mode or something. There's no way you're convincing me a normal built robot that entertains children can light his nightmare fueling head like that. Why is that thing staring down on us like that, though? I don't know, Joe, but I think we're gonna die. Oh, yay, my favorite, death. Okay, wait, why is it silent all of a sudden? Oh, oh my, my God, God, what the f Ouch, okay, my ears hurt after that scream and you swearing Obama. Alexa, remind me in 30 minutes to sue Bill Clinton. Okay, I'll create a reminder to go off in 30 minutes. Why Bill Clinton in particular? Come on, you know he had to have been responsible. All right, I think I have a new strategy here, guys. And what'll that be, Barry? I'm just gonna sit here for about two hours and let the power chill out. And let the animatronics roam free for that long? Trust me, this'll work. If it doesn't, I quit this job of being a security guard for 120 a week. What was that? What was what, Barack? Um, nothing. Must have been my imagination. Okay, it's been a bit now. Let's go check up on them and see how they're doing. I'm sorry, is that meant to happen? Wait, were those heads looking at us or something? Did you happen to fall asleep during that brief period, Sleepy Joe? No, I was just seeing constellations, that's all. Yeah, you totally weren't sleeping or anything, Joe. Wait, I actually wasn't? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, Joe. Okay, why are... Oh, okay, never mind, he started moving. I was about to say that I'm surprised no activity happened at all till 3 a.m. Remind me, when are we suing Bill Clinton again? After the end of the video, Joe, we'll remind you because we're gonna need a lot of firepower to sue someone like him. Wait a second, that's where he's been hiding. Can't believe the flickering light made him blend into the darkness so well. Took me forever to find him. I still couldn't even see him. I don't know how you have the eyesight for something like that. I wonder if any of the other animatronics do something like that. Just wait till Freddy wakes up and you'll see. I'm so glad I saved up as much power as I did because once again, this stupid rabbit is refusing to move away from here. This is why showbiz is better than this dump. They never had annoying little rabbits to freak the kids out. Joe, I don't think that's saying much considering that they still do have those creepy animatronics and stuff. Well, maybe if you both grew up with showbiz or the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, you at the time would have considered them a technological improvement rather than a bunch of zombies that were after kids. Joe, I know for a fact there were at least a couple dozen people who had sleepless nights because of those things. Haven't you or your kids ever had nightmares of being alone with inanimate things like animatronics before? Oh, wait, that's what my kid was crying about that one time. Wow, you are something else, Joe, and I don't know if I should be laughing or feeling remorseful for you. Why Freddy looking like he about to plot something devious, though? You act like as if all of them don't. Okay, so on one hand, we have a chicken just chilling next to the men's restrooms for some reason, probably needing to take a dump or something. And we have this stupid rabbit who, again, refuses to leave me alone. Suddenly, I need to take a dump as well. TMI, Joe. Gross, dude. Oh, what in the world? How did you get over here already? Suddenly all that power you saved up is getting chewed away. I'm starting to think all of that money this place made up had went all into this terrible battery life. It would at least explain why I'm being paid as little as 120 a week. I mean, just look at these busted animatronics. Look hard enough and you can see their robot skeleton inside of them. Wait, so how does this trace back to Bill Clinton if this place is basically running on a budget? Because it's Bill Clinton. He's responsible for literally everything. 
You think he would not make a pizzeria with creepy animatronics to bait security guards? Okay, now that you say that. Plus, Joe, don't you remember that one time he said his child was visiting your house only to find your entire restroom covered in piss and fists? Oh my goodness, now that you bring that up, I remember Hunter going monkey mode about it. Uh, didn't help that it was the same day he had mad Taco Bell. How did this conversation escalate to Hunter going monkey mode? What does that even look like? You really don't want to know, Barry. It was horrible. I'm sorry, am I allowed to ask why both of your doors are closed, bro? Well, at first, both were at my door at the same time, but guess not. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, geez, that shocked me a bit. Are you even going to have enough power to make it through the first night? Shut your traps, and maybe I will. I can't afford to lose here, not after a strong start. Oh, for the love of God. When even is the end of the night? Holy moly, we did it, gentlemen. Let's go, Obama. You finally beat the night. Thanks, Joe. Couldn't have done it without your company. Congrats, you finished the first night out of five. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that part. Guess I have to continue then. There's a part of me that kind of forgot I get phone calls every night. Why does it take so long to pick up the darn phone, bro? Well, if you're hearing this and you made the day, too, uh, congrats. Thanks for nothing, phone guy. Real help, buddy. Yeah, thanks for not telling us important information like death and such. Oh yeah, so much for everyone being in their proper place. Now both the chicken and the rabbit are gone already. Geez, what a start to the second night, and yet we still have no insight into how we fend off a burglar and such. Tell me about it. So if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, be sure to check the door lights. Because if you do, you might only have a few seconds to react. Not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, oh wow, that's amazingly reassuring, dude. You give me something that sounds very important like the door lights, then immediately tell me there's no reason to use it because I won't be in any danger. Sure are doing a real good job hiding it, buddy. How much is Bill paying you? Anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Talk to you soon. He's certainly up to something no good. He knows we're working in a death trap, trying to tell us we're totally not in danger. If that was the case, why are we a security guard in the first place? Isn't that the job of a night shift guard to see if there's any opposing threat? Absolutely, Joe, you said it. He and whoever is behind this establishment are up to something devious and we know it. Something about the minds of the uninformed when it comes to situations like these that always entertain me. What do you mean by that, Donnie? Let's just say that I'm not saying you're right, but I'm also not saying you're wrong either. It just occurred to me. What is it, Barry? What in the actual world is this ambiance? For a place that's supposed to be empty and devoid of everything but these robots, it almost sounds like ghost drone noises or something. To me, it kind of sounds like something I'd hear in some sort of occupied cave with monsters and demons. When I used to work the night shift at Showbiz, all I heard was just the desk fan for quite a while and that was it. Wait, if that's the case, what are the chances this place is actually haunted or something? The more that I think about it, the animatronics being possessed by ghosts or evil spirits sounds way more likely than just them having some sort of nighttime mode. If Freddy himself is on nighttime mode, why is it that he has a built-in music box that lights up his inner parts of his skull? Not to mention the weird noises we just heard coming from the kitchen and stuff. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Uh, Yo, I wasn't uh, imagining uh, what is that, Donald? What on God's green planet was that? Donald, what was that? What just happened? That was just a hallucination. You guys are fine. Wait, hold on a second here. Why did that happen at all? What was that even about, Donald? I really hate how you're being extremely quiet about this situation. Okay, I guess I'll explain one thing to make this make sense to you two. Obama, remember that one comment you said about the possibility that this place is haunted? Oh no, please don't tell me. Oh my God. This is the part where you say the place is haunted, Donald? This place is haunted, gentlemen. Great, so the place is haunted after all? But wait, how is this place haunted? What happened here? Back before this exact pizzeria, five young individuals were murdered by a co-owner of this place. This co-worker sometime after 1987, for reasons I won't mention yet, because it's irrelevant for now, decided to go on a killing spree, specifically targeting those in Fazbear Entertainment. However, instead of ending their life with normal stabbings, he instead would kill them, then soon stuff their dead bodies into animatronic suits. Oh my gosh, what? That's horrible. And this place is still running even after that absolute tragedy. Who would do such a thing? Why and how did Bill Clinton let such ugly actions happen? Wait a second, this just occurred to me. Donald, you said five. 
Who's the fifth? A ghost animatronic that has an extremely rare chance of appearing in this game. There are ghost animatronics now. Okay, that's it. Scratch the suing. I'm airstriking this whole mess. This place cannot stand on foot when it's been haunted for this long. Might as well burn this place to the ground. We can't allow children to come to this haunted facility. If only you were here to do that a long, long time ago. All right, so now that we know what we're up against, we now have the evidence we need to sue Bill and airstrike this whole joint. Oh my gosh, wait, why is he out of his little pirate cove? Okay, we're super screwed now. What am I supposed to do against that thing? Good luck, Obama. You're certainly going to need it here, dude. It really doesn't help that the duck and the beaver are already nearing the office. I'm sorry, what beaver? Oh gosh, not you, sir. This is bad. What are we going to do? We still have another 12% of our power. We can do this, Joe. But these hours take so long. When will it even at 6 a.m.? I don't know, Joe. But this is no time to be freaking out. We're almost there. But he's going to swear it. But Barry, you're freaking out, too. No, I'm not freaking out. You are, Joe. What the heck? Bro sounded like his soul was exiting and now is fine. Did your soul just get taken or something, Barry? No, I'm totally fine, Donald. I swear it. Somehow this is less reassuring. Suddenly even I'm creeped out by this. Whoa, what was that knocking just now? It means your butt was saved by that door. Good for you, Obama. But we're only at 3% power. We're not going to make it, guys. Yes, we will, Joe. We just need to hold out a little longer. There's still time left. How much time left, though, is the real question. You're basically floating around with no power left. Shut up, Donnie. Come on, power. We are literally almost done with the night. Oh, great. We're screwed. I don't want to go through this again. Jill, where are you? No way did you just call for Jill, bro. Oh, please, please. I don't want to go through this again. Where are Joe, you, Jill? calm down. I swear to... See, I told you we'd make it. Holy cow. Nice Obama. Wow, I cannot lie. That was incredible, Obama. Close call victory there. Thanks, guys. Should we end the episode here? feel we've been going on for a bit now. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I think this is a good place to stop right here. Yeah, I love that idea. My heart can't take this anymore. All right, well, that'll end this video for today, y'all. This was one crazy one, especially for Joe, so we hope you enjoyed this one, everyone. If you truly enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us and Jared Gaming produce more of these kinds of videos. Just don't expect them at a frequent pace. All of us are busy one way or another, but we're very thankful for the recent support you've given us lately. We'll be sure to play or do more things in the future. As always, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all. Also, why are there prisoners here? Okay, whoa, hey, what's going on? Why are said prisoners people of color, Don? Don't look at me like that. You think I do something? What is it, everyone? It is I, Barack Obama, here with Bidenator and Donnie playing Mr. President once again. How did these Donkey Kong barrels set me flying like that? Wow, what an intro to this video. Joe Biden tripping on those DK barrels and rump dying once again. Fantastic. Sorry, I never knew how terrible the controls of this game are. Anyways, would you two like to discuss why Biden is playing this game and not you, Trump? I'd rather not remind myself, Obama. I kind of don't remember about that, actually. You should remind us, Donald. Okay, fine. So in the previous one, I said I would play this garbage next time, right? Apparently, Obama thought it would be really funny to keep whatever game we were playing next a mystery to me and Joe. Obama simply said we should play each other in a rock, paper, scissors match. And whoever won three times would play whatever this game was. And of course, as cruel as fate is, I lost. You act like as if you wanted to play this horrible game. It's not that I wanted to play this. It's just the awful feeling of losing to you in rock, paper, scissors that feels horrible. Something about the presence of this game makes you a very hilarious individual. Please be quiet, Owamna. Biden, sir, where were you going with that jump? I misjudged the jump distance. I actually thought that would reach. Not gonna lie. Okay, Joe, are you even trying at this point? No, I already don't like this game. Well, neither do I, but we need to press on with the video. You know how many people wanted to see this again, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just frustrated is all. How does someone touching sand suddenly collapse and have a minor stroke at the same time? Maybe he just fainted over the idea of his clothes getting all sandy. He just couldn't take it anymore. Why would someone like him do that, though? Did you forget whose bodyguard this is, Rump? Okay, now I know for a fact you did not just say that Owamna. Oh, No, that's the wrong button. Oh my gosh, is this how it's gonna be, Joe? I'm sorry, one of my other fingers slipped. How do one of your fingers slip to where you perform a cartwheel instead of a normal dive? I don't know, I guess I'm just built different. Excuse me, what? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. The stairs aren't normal walkable terrain as well. Hmm, 
Something about that feels very familiar. We know what you're talking about, Obama. Also, why are there prisoners here? Okay, whoa, hey, what's going on? Why are said prisoners people of color, Don? Don't look at me like that. You think I'd do something like that, you guys? I hate this so much. Holy cow, finally. Thought you'd be stuck here forever. Same to be honest. But it's fine now. We can move on to the next level. All right, now I know for a fact this game is absolutely stupid. Please tell me in what reality we let the actual assassin that is killing Rump just chill on stage right in front of everyone. Donald, you need to stop feeling so heated about this game. Not only is it just a video game with no budget behind it at all, but I don't think the game is meant to represent you, Donald. Obama, please do not pretend like that is the case. You know whoever made this chose to represent me in the most absurd way possible. I don't know, this seems like an accurate job to me. I'm about to take coding classes just so I can make a prequel and a sequel to this game. Rump, move out of the way. This is your bodyguard speaking. Wait, where's the laser? Are you absolutely kidding me? Tacos now. This is one crazy world. Now tacos are capable of killing you. Who's even sending these down? All right, maybe your frustrations with this game are justified. Good going, Joey. I'll actually save him next time. Wow, using the cartwheel to do something actually useful. Never thought to see it. Thanks, Obama. I'll for sure save him this time. Don't worry, gentlemen. Jesus, thank you, Joe. You're welcome, Donnie. Anytime, bro. You did not just do that. He's apparently alive. We're fine, Donald. I accidentally pressed the reset button, guys. Of course you would. Now we have to go through this again. Why is this taking so long, Joe? This is a lot harder than it looks, Donald. Are you sure, Joe? It kind of looks like you're just playing bad. I told you the controls of this game are horrible. You're giving me an aneurysm watching this buddy. Holy cow, you did it, even though you've already beaten this before. I'm starting to be thankful that this is the one and only Mr. President game. It's fine, we can move along now. Oh my gosh, why are there more of these DK barrels again? I'm not even going to ask at this point, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I'd rather you not ask why the bodyguard is positioned away from you where you have to jump over some barrels just to save him. Dang it, I had a streak going there. Let's go, boys. Now I just need to save Rump. Wow, you had him right there, too. You know, Joe, sometimes you impress me in both ways, man. Shut your yappers and let me try again. This is one very interesting next attempt, having the barrels bounce you back and forth and all. I got this next attempt. Watch me. Good job, Bozo. Now you just sent yourself flying into the literal air with the eagles. I got this next attempt. Watch me. Didn't you say that last time, Joe? Yes, but technically I can say that as many times as I want. Just let me cook. I'm about to sue whoever made this game specifically for defamation. You literally had it right there, dude. I'm sorry. I thought the bullet would come faster than that. Guess this is why we have an infinite amount of attempts. Just like that, Rump's dead. Good job, buddy. I'm sorry, Trump. Hey, yo, Donald, are you okay, buddy? I know you were pretty toxic the first time we played this game, but it seems like you're down in the dumps or something. You feeling okay, buddy? I oddly feel better just from you asking Barry. I don't know, I just have a sprawling hatred for this game. I just feel upset with how some choose to represent me in these forms of media. Just makes me wonder how many see me the way they see this numbskull of a president, Ronald Rump. Every time we're playing this game, I feel this weird sense of anger. Hey, it's all right, Donnie. Me and Barry both get represented in a pretty bad light as much as every other president. Think of it this way, Trump. People like us enough to not have planned some sort of assassination on any one of us. Okay, wait a minute, Biden. How do you know that? Isn't situations like that why we even have the most amount of security in the first place? We do? I better hope you do, Biden. Oh my goodness, you must be one lucky soul or something. 
Hey, yo, nice Joe, taking out his feet to save him like that. Not what I intended, but we take those, I guess. Okay, what the heck am I doing now? Uh, I hate this game with a burning passion. I see what you did there, Trump, my boy. You know, I think I'm starting to see Trump's hate for this. I'd be mad, too, if I was him. You know, this really doesn't help that the stairs are not normal terrain I can walk on. I just collapse and fall down like a slug for some reason. Seriously, you think you'd have the skills of walking down these stairs as the president's bodyguard? Tell me about it. Frustrating, isn't it? How in the world did you just shoot yourself across the map like that? I actually have no idea, Donald. Better question. Why is your leg not only stuck on the wall, but also having its own stroke? Game physics, I guess. This is just a load of nonsense. How did I miss, bro? I was right there. I love the controls of this game. It's done wonderfully and should be replicated to more AAA games like Mario. Wow. You know, Joe's frustrated when someone like him starts acting sarcastic. I'm about to pass out early in my life because of this game. Like, seriously, the amount of times I've tried making that jump is hurting my head. I can see that, Joe. Fingers slipped again. Joe, you need to stop having butterfingers, dude. I'm starting to think it's actually affecting your fingers at this second. I'm sorry that's not going to happen. Those things are so delicious, almost like chocolate chocolate ice cream. Wow, I actually did it. Wow. All right, can we move on now? This is getting tiring. I can tell just from this, we're going to be here for a while, huh? Likely so. Guess we should cue the death montage then. Lord, please have mercy on me for my anger inside. Holy cow. The amount of time that took made me think we were stuck in a paradox or something. I'm surprised Joe even finished that. Thought we actually were stuck forever. Joe? Earth to Joe Biden. Do you copy? Joe Biden, wake up this instance. What? Wait, what happened? I think I dozed off when playing Mr. President. What was I doing again? Wow, dude was so tired of it, he fell asleep playing it somehow. Okay, now that's probably the craziest thing I've seen from Joe. What do you mean I didn't make it? This is malarkey. I'm starting to think that strategy just isn't working, Joe. Darn it all. Okay, well now you're just flying way too high, dude. This will just take some time and then I'll get it. Isn't that what happened last time? Because when that did, three minutes of our time went by and you actually fell asleep during probably more than half of it. I'll try to make that not happen again then. It seems like it will already. You're kidding me. I think I'll be in the hospital tonight after this. We'll pay you a visit if you want us to. Can we write a petition that after this video we never play this game ever again? Yes, that would be amazing. Save my sanity from this heck of a game. Wait, that worked? Finally, oh my goodness, this time I didn't fall asleep. But still took quite a bit of time away. It's fine, we can move on to the next mission already. All right, so what am I doing here now? You know what? I'm not even gonna say it. You all know exactly what I was gonna yell aloud to the world for the 10th time. You're suing whoever made this game? You said it, Obama. All right, well, this one shouldn't be too bad. It's just all about catching him at the right time. You say that as you completely miss. Once again, just let me try again in the next attempt. You seem to be missing a shot that seems pretty easy to catch. Shut it, Obama. You're actually joking. I missed somehow. Oh, geez. Here we go again. Wait, I just realized something. Why catch him when I could just knock him off of that? That actually reached? Wow, that was a pretty smart move on you, Joe. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Obama. Please tell us we can get out of here even though Rump just technically died. Once again, forever amazes me that Rump continues to walk anyways. All right, well, that will be the end of the video, you all. This was one painful experience, especially for Joe. Yes, it was. So we hope you enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed watching this video, 
please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps us and Jared push more of these videos out. Just don't expect these too frequently. All of us are busy one way or another. As always, take care, everyone. And God God bless bless you all. all. Okay, seriously, this is really bad. This might be it, Donald. Brace yourself. This can't be. Not like this. How could I lose to Charles because I didn't have scraps? I'm sorry, Eugene. It's all over. What it is, everyone, it is me, Barack Obama, here again with Joe Biden to watch Donald Trump burn the world's largest spider known to man. Yes, sir, that is correct. We're killing this thing once and for all in this video. No holding back against this demon. And avenge my long lost cousin, Eugene. Anyways, for those who haven't seen the first part of the video, we had our bouts with a demon train thing named Charles, who's terrorizing an island. We were called by Eugene to put an end to this train and save the island. Right now, the plan is to collect three eggs that are being hidden away by a madman who very much organized a cult named Warren. We have one out of three and plan to retrieve the other two in this video. If I can even remember correctly, once we do, then we can finally have that one on one against Charles without him escaping. But for now, we need to collect more scraps so that way we can properly upgrade our train to make sure Charles doesn't stand a chance. Which means we'll be doing a whole lot of missions from here on out. But it'll be worth the wait. With all of that out of the way, let's head onwards, gentlemen. We have a demonic spider to kill. If I'm not mistaken, we left off at getting some journal for some guy who forgot it in his process of escaping. But since the dude is across the island, we'll have to prioritize other missions first before coming back to him. Speaking of which, This fellow over here might be able to give us a pretty useful weapon to use against that train demon. So let's travel to him first. What site for eyes is this right here? It kind of looked like some sort of training ground with the signs and boarded up walls. Maybe it was for explosives and stuff. All right, well, we arrived, boys. Let's check and see what this person wants. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. A rocket launcher? Oh, hell yeah, I've baby. I've wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. Me too, buddy. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? I don't know about you guys, but he's my favorite out of everyone we've met so far. I guess being paid back with a rocket launcher as our weapon is a pretty good exchange for a deal. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head down there and get the supplies. Say less, Obama. Way ahead of you. Oh, wow, I knew it. We were heading down to the little training ground site. And you thought to have never said this aloud? Just didn't want to make myself a fool in case I was wrong. Well, congrats, Biden. You'll receive half of a clap in honor of you guessing correctly. How come I don't hear you clapping for me? Oh my goodness, Joe. Darn it, the door won't budge open. Do we have to go back to that guy just to ask for the keys or something? No, I don't think so. Someone like him wouldn't just magically forget to give us the keys to a very important area. We might need something else, gentlemen. I now immediately know what this is useful for. We're just gonna blow it up? Unless you can think of something better right now, that's the plan, Obama. I could have sworn there was one time we trusted you with some sort of explosive and that went horribly. Relax, bro, it's just a singular door we're blowing up with just some simple TNT, we'll be fine. Oh my my goodness. goodness. Well, so much for it being a simple TNT. Some of your health was stripped away. It's fine, guys, we'll figure out how to recover it later. I'm starting to think the cult came here to lock the ammo up on purpose. Why would they lock it up if they could just take the ammo with them? Remember how easy it was to get that first egg? They were probably just lazy bums or something. I hope this isn't you making the assumption that the other two eggs will be as easy as well. What are a bunch of cult guards going to do against a train that can take on Charles? You think they can even scratch it even the smallest bit? Wouldn't it be safe to assume so since this is a world where a demon train that has spider legs can lay eggs like nobody's business? That's the thing you question? Not the part where Charles exists at all? Still no way they have something prepared for this train. The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Excellent work, John. We'll We'll test this baby out in no time. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Is he talking about the cultist people he needs to deal with? Likely so. I don't know what else he'd be talking about if it wasn't the case at all. 
I'm stuck debating oh, if now. Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so that we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, and knowing what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. Now that is why I love John Smith. Slow, but presumably powerful. Maybe this is one of those weapons that should be used if the opportunity calls for it. What the heck does that mean? It's his polite way of saying he's going to use it pretty rarely. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Sir, why do you look slightly malnourished? Thanks, Greg. Something about you just doesn't look so hey, normal, my guy. You, you have a thing with opening your mouth every time someone only manages to speak out one sentence. That's what keeps me interesting in these videos. You know I'm coming, you just don't know what I'm about to say. Actually, I'd want to argue that's what's keeping us from speaking, Donald. No offense, of course. This Greg to, here you know? acts like as if oh Warren gosh, isn't Donald. behind a cult or something. Okay, wow, that's actually pretty far from here. We should probably check out a mission or two before traveling across the whole map. But first, just for the sake of convenience, let's return that journal of the one other guy. Dude, better give us some scraps for this many miles we had to cross for him. Oh yeah, wait, weird time to bring this up. But yeah, why did John kind of sound like as if his soul was already snatched with a soul snatcher? Every time he spoke, he sounded like as if he wasn't getting paid enough to act or something. Maybe he just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and had to deal with some of those cultist people. I mean, I think that's how I would have sounded if I had to deal with pests like them. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope for your own good that you didn't peek inside. Dang it, now but that he uh, mentioned it, I wished I did. What would have been so special about his journal? For all we know, it was just some diary. Barack, even if it was just a diary, how would we know he was or wasn't part of the cult we keep talking about? Yeah, what if that diary had very important details of the cult we need to handle with? Something about you two and just not letting things stay a secret. Holy cow, 46, I apologize for every bad thing I've said about him. Thanks for the scraps. Whoa, the model of the train is now different. That's pretty cool. Guess the scraps was enough to make it more bad to the bone. Suddenly my confidence has been boosted to a substantial amount. It finally no longer looks like it was drawings keeping this thing together. Now it actually looks like a prepped up machine. All right, let's go to this individual and see what we need to do. Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Ghosts? That's oddly specific of Someone you, ma'am. Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? So now we're tasked to look for eight pages? Wait, why does that oddly sound like a familiar thing? Something about looking for eight pages. Wait a second, this is exactly like Slender the Eight Pages. What the heck is a Slender Pages? Whatever you just said just now. That's actually a game we have in our catalog we were going to play later down the line. Oh wait, really? Okay, that's cool and all, but what is the game you mentioned though? You'll know just from seeing whatever's gonna happen to Trump. Oh, what the heck, that's so vague though. Holy Whoa, cow, move out of way, ghost. I'm trying to look for pages. Wow, we just got started and this thing is already on our tail. Anyone know what this thing is even saying? Not a singular clue, it's just ghost gibberish, I guess. Why are you two so calm despite the fact this thing is literally right behind I'm us? I'm focusing on running more than you think, Joe. What? Did it just teleport us out of the map? I don't know, but that sounds much better than dying if you ask me. All right, at least we can just head back into action even when we're taken. Bro, he's already here. And he already took you. Dang it. How are we even supposed to outrun this thing? I have an idea, but it'll require sacrificing my thumb to do this. Oh, hell no. No way we're fighting Charles while looking for these pages while also being chased down by a ghost. Make this quick, Donnie. We can't keep dilly-dallying any longer. Dilly-dallying, golly. I don't remember the last time anyone has ever said that. Back in my days, I was one of the few breathing souls to ever say that phrase. I and many others usually have said it towards kids that were taking too long to do their schoolwork and such. So when we said no more dilly-dallying, the kids knew that we were gonna do some math. Are you constantly jumping from the ghost? 
Is that what you meant when you were sacrificing your thumb? Yes, because this is actually starting to hurt my thumb. I'm mashing the space bar like no tomorrow and I can already feel cramps coming soon. Gosh, I'm doing everything in my power to juke this ghost out, but he comes from behind so quickly. It doesn't help that you're taking fall damage just from trying to circle around him. Frick, man, I'm already starting to feel the cramps in my thumb. I'm a little too old to be pressing this space bar like crazy. And even then, he's still catching up to you, Donald. Hurry and find that last page. What do you think I'm doing, Obama? Come on, where the heck can one simple last page even be hiding? There it is, Donald. I see it, I see it. Phew, that was close. We're finally done with that awful mission. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Say less, Obama. We can't let Charles keep waiting for us. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Holy cow. Thanks, ma'am, but we have a train to battle at the moment. He's already that close by? Oh, this is bad. Holy moly, 51 scraps. Thanks a bunch, ma'am. Hurry up and ready up for Charles. He certainly has to be close by. Wait, do you guys see him there in the distance? Oh my goodness, yes I do. Does he actually see us or are we too out of sight from him? I think right now we actually are out of sight, though he definitely seems to be searching for us. I'm very tempted to get his attention right now so he doesn't get us sidetracked from our mission. Oh gosh, he's coming. Well, congratulations, Donald. You got his attention. You happy? Genuinely serious. I didn't expect that to work at all. I thought Charles was deaf. Doesn't matter. However, it's still the same song and dance, only now I have a rocket launcher just for you, Charles. Either I have a bad memory or Charles looks to be crawling much faster than usual. Actually, yeah, now that you say that, he definitely seems to be stronger and faster than last time, I think. He's catching up to our upgraded train quite quickly. It is also not helping that the rocket launcher is missing somehow. I'm gonna bet this one shot on him. Please don't miss. Boom, baby. Wow, so not only did it actually land, but that was enough to send him away. That must have been one powerful shot if that scared Charles back into hiding. Guess John wasn't kidding when he said he was gonna make one powerful rocket launcher. A rocket launcher so powerful that Warren won't stand a chance either. Whenever possible, we're coming for him next and make him fess up. Although it kind of sucks that that fight sent us much further away from our primary mission. Guess we're doing more country roading, boys. So then I suplexed him so hard, he actually called for his mommy in the middle of the subway train station. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a joker that guy is. Hey, wait, do you guys hear that? Hey, whoa, who was that? Wait a second, where are we guys? What was that? It almost sounded like people or something. Get to the guns just in case. They didn't sound too friendly to me. Okay, now I know we need to fight. Whoa, you just ran over someone? I actually didn't intend to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. Clearly, whoever these people are seem to be attacking us. Wait, hold on. Is this the cultist people? I see some creepy looking masks. It is. Hurry and get rid of them, Donald. With pleasure, Obama. No more Charles followers for tonight, gentlemen. Heck, all of those shots missed. Guess this is the part where the rocket launcher comes into great use. Oh yes, very much great use. Do you think that was all of them? I don't see any more coming after us, so I would assume so. Wait, I just realized, are we in some campground? Why not check the place out since no one's out for us right now? Once again, another locked door. Wow, this actually is a campground. Did we just step into the homeland of the cult? To think we've arrived on accident. Guess it was fate, especially talking about Trump. Yeah, at this point, there's no denying it. This is one million percent a cult. Creepy masks, a campground. What more could we ask for? Not to mention the flags hanging on some of these buildings. Are they worshipers or something? Isn't that the point of a cult? To worship a deity of some sort while also doing some very underhanded practices like sacrifices, weird code dresses and stuff related to that? Yes, Obama, and judging from this area and those people with loaded weapons, black bodysuits and masks, this is without question a cult. 
But now that we know where this place is, Warren's in one heck of some trouble here. Are you reading this again, Donnie? Wait, can I try reading? I never got to read anything. Oh, uh, what the heck? Go ahead, Joe. Thanks, Donnie. Anyways, this paper reads, we've been digging for over a month and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Before we ask about the contents of that note, I think we should first ask the most important question of that note. Who wrote that note in the first place? Actually, yeah, who did write that note? Because if it was someone from the cult, that would mean that note was probably written before this whole thing happened in the first place. But if it was someone like Eugene who was supervising the mines or whatnot, that would mean the miners unrelated to Warren's cult have no clue what they're doing and are just being misled. To me, there's a chance it was someone who could have been part of the cult but was later executed because of his questions. Assuming cults like this one do that at least. Actually, that's not as far-fetched as I think. Maybe that really did happen. What do you think those big poles on the desk for? I don't know, but I'm making the assumption they might be for something later. Maybe there's a side mission that wants us to retrieve those poles. Anyways, we should probably resume to where we were heading, the mines. Still gonna be a long while till we get there. Guess that means more fun stories to talk about. Anyone got anything to talk about? I have a story in mind. There was one late night dinner I had with Melania at a Japanese restaurant. Nice place, by the way. And when we walked in, we saw a massive argument happening between three people, all of whom were speaking different languages. It was one funny sight to see if I so say then, so then, come myself. to find out this whole time, someone duped the whole restaurant into playing the most heated game of charades us two have ever seen. It was wild, but fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a story. That was really funny. It seems like we're here, boys. Time to find this stupid egg and kick some Warren butt. Hold on, there's a guard outside with me? They're already amping up the security of these eggs? Stop right there! No thanks, I don't listen to people like you wearing weirdo masks. Wow, you're just really booking it, huh? Unless you can suggest to me something better right now, yes, that's my plan, sir. But wouldn't there be more guards to deal with soon? When the time comes, we'll just pull the biggest 180 they've ever seen. Oh my gosh, Donald. Okay, this just suddenly went from bad to worst. We need to get out of here! From where? We have two of them on our tails, Donald. Obviously, back to the train. We can't fight them here. Not without some sort of weapon. I'm sorry, Thumb, but I need you to be mashing today. This is very important. Run, Forrest, run. run. Oh my gosh, he is still on my freaking tail. Bro just dodged a bullet right there. Don't stop, keep running. I see the train guy. Hurry up and get in there so you can burn him to smithereens. He is still on our tail as we speak. That missed? You're kidding me? Oh my gosh, Donald. Oh my gosh, these missiles are not helping at Quick, all. Equip good old bug spray, now. Phew, that was close. Should we just make it a plan that whenever we're caught, we just book it to the train? Yeah, I think we should stick to that plan. My concern right now is that the other one who spotted us didn't seem to trail us, meaning he's still in there. Then I guess we just have to prepare for him then. I have to walk behind him. There's no other way around him. Okay, the coast seems to be clear for now. Hopefully, if we run into someone again, we'll have time to get back to the train. What the heck is this bridge for? I'm not sure right now. Maybe it'll serve as a second exit out of here if we find some sort of switch for it. Okay, this time I don't see him, nor hear him. I hope this means the path is cleared right now. Kind of in a bad spot to run back at the moment. What the heck did that lever just do? There it is, Donald. Go get it before we get caught again. Bingo, now it's ours. Just only one egg left to go and it's fireworks, baby. Don't celebrate too soon, Donnie. We still have to get out of here. I know, Barry, I'm on it. Nah, man, I'm dipping. No way I'm getting caught again, homie. Holy moly, that was so loud. Hurry up and get out of there before someone checks to investigate the noise we caused. Hey, You're not convincing me. He spotted me, not only across the yard, but also without even having his peripheral vision towards me. Shut it and just dip, Donald. 
Get closer, I dare you, bozo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get smoked to death. Guess Warren should have made fireproof bodysuits for you guys. All right, well, where to now, gentlemen? Since there's a lot of important icons here, we should probably go to them all right now. Get us closer to whatever's the end game. Shouldn't we still try looking for some more scraps for the sake of upgrading our train? Don't worry, Joe, we plan on doing that somewhere midway through. Well, for now, let's just progress through the game to get closer. Araniaram Municipal Building, the heck is this place? I don't know, but something about you saying it out loud was kind of funny. How about you say it as well, Mr. Biden? Araniaram Municipal Building, that was a very weird thing to say. What the heck does that even mean? I don't know, guess we'll find out eventually. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track's directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast keeping his distance, and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms too long. Charles needs to go, and Warren won't stand in our way. I wonder who wrote that note. Do you guys think those miners that were mentioned are part of the cult or not? I don't want to jump to conclusions yet, so let's just assume the miners were the ones tricked by Warren. I've been staking out this area for days, and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone across it. Then BAM! We use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up, and Charles falls face first into the canyon. If the blast doesn't kill him, the fall surely will. You're the archivist my father told me about. My cousin's son? Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Oh yeah, uh, about that, sir. Bro, Not who's gonna to tell him the news? Help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then, meet me back here. All right, so while I set up these bombs, shall we discuss the new info we gathered, gentlemen? Yes, Trump. How about we start with the reason why we were bringing these eggs in the first place? Everyone kept telling us about collecting the eggs so we can duke it out with Charles, but never really mentioned why. And now, we know. We're basically luring him to this bridge so we can blow him up? Seems so, Joey. I guess it does make sense. I mean, my weapons are awesome and whatnot, but now that I put some more thought into it, I don't think my weapons I was given were designed to actually kill Charles. As the note we read earlier mentioned, they were to weaken him so that way the plan goes into full motion. Though this plan is reliant on you actually being able to knock down Charles. Can we trust you do that, Donald? Unless you're trying to tell me Charles has something up his non-existent sleeves, I'm pretty sure I have this in the bag. Like I said before, once we get all three eggs, it's fireworks, baby. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. I don't see the here, problem here, sir. This. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. After we get the last egg and finish a couple missions for the sake of upgrading the train. Now we head over to the last red icon individual to get our last weapon. I hope it's something pretty cool and sweet. Oh gosh, that hurt. So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. Bias much, but don't blame you either. What I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will ya? Go ahead, what's your request? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. Wow, I was correct before we even got to see it. This weapon is gonna be sweet just cause of that favor alone. I have no problem with accepting that request. Your husband must have been one brave soul to help battle the demon train before I arrived. I see no problems naming a weapon after him. Either I'm crazy or you're suddenly polite for some reason. Sudden, you say? I'm just complimenting someone for helping our cause, that's all. You think I've never done something like that before? Maybe.
Oh, wait a second. Somehow this just occurred to me. We were coming here. The campground we already destroyed. I guess this means those poles on that desk are something we can use. Wait, that was it? I guess I should first find out how powerful this thing is before judging it. So far, I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, come on, give this weapon some faith. It's named Bob for a reason. It's named after the guy who passed down the torch to us. These Charles worshippers are gonna get it when I use Bob to blast them in the face. That's the spirit. The archivist, in all your radiant glory. Thank you, kind sir. Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. Oh great, what is it, Paul? There's an ancient shrine on the island. A pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst. Oh great, fantastic. So, he does have a trick up his sleeve? Being able to absorb the energy beam to become even stronger? Okay, so since the guy was giving a sweet long explanation, we're just gonna sum it up for him. We need the eggs because of a contraption that uses them which will both summon Charles and anger him, but unfortunately, it will also empower him. Meaning we have to be absolutely ready for the danger ahead. Oh, what the heck? Where on this island did you come from, sir? He's even getting better at sneaking up on us. Just shoot him down like you have twice already, Donald. I'm on it, Obama. Okay, maybe you guys were right. He seems to be a lot more faster than usual. He's catching up to my train so quickly. If he's this quick, how quick will he be once he's strong? No time to fret about it now. Just keep shooting him. Just get the heck out of here already. You put me so out of path to my objective. Leave or die, Charles. Whoa, what the heck? Has anyone ever seen that before? He ran away by running towards us faster. I don't know why, but seeing how he ran away actually puts me on edge. Well, guess we're taking the long way, boys. Guess we're doing more road tripping then. Let's just cut back to when we actually go look for the eggs, since I don't think the viewers need to see the boring optional missions. Unless something interesting happens, agreed. Let's get going, boys. All right, we're here now, gentlemen. You shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh, this is how we're starting. Good job, Donald. Two steps in and already triggered a guard. Okay, listen, Obama. How was I supposed to know the guard was already there? Shut it, you two, and just run, Donnie. The moment I see this guard, he's dead on sight. I don't know why, but I'm surprised you were able to get to the train in time. I'm starting to think I should just attract all the guards to my train just to get them out of my way. Wouldn't that take a while, though? Not for the viewers. We can just skip all the time it takes taking out each one. No visitors allowed. Okay, seriously, this is why we're doing this. I didn't even see him, and he's already on my tail. Maybe you just need to improve your stealth game, Donald. On one hand, I understand, but on the other hand, shut it, Biden. Stop right there. Wow, he managed to get two shots in before succumbing to the fire. Crazy. Guess these were the only guards to have a decently improved bodysuit. Don't know how much of an improvement that is since they still die either way. Wait, where is this thing taking us to? If it's away from the train, I might actually have to level up my stealth game. We're descending into the mine further, meaning yes, we won't be able to access our train for a while, I assume. Suddenly I'm worried we're gonna get caught. Don't worry, Joe. If I take this seriously, we should be fine. I'm a little worried you used the word should instead of will. I said we'll be fine, Obama. Just believe it for a moment. I'm just gonna hope we weren't spotted already. Oh, great, we're cornered already. Oh, that's just great. So where the guard just came from is our only path forward. Oh my gosh, he spotted me already. I was cornered, bro. So much for leveling up your stealth game. Nothing happened in it. You're already spotted. Joe Biden, calm down so we can just book it out of here. Donald, get that third egg and run like the wind. I'm trying Obama. We already got it. Now I just have to book it and find something to elevate us out of here. There it is, there it is. Go, go, go. Okay, I think we lost him. Oh my gosh, you're not serious. They're out of the mines and we're already on the loose. Just go, Donald. Run and jump. Just get out of here and quickly get to the train. 
Holy cow, I just realized, where on earth is my train? Where are we? I don't know, I don't know. Just keep running, Trump. What do you think I'm doing, Biden? Wait, I think I know where we are. The train shouldn't be too far from here. Then go, Donald, go, go, go. Come on, baby, I'm almost there. Eat this, you no good cult worshippers. Wait, there were three? Holy cow, they kind of did some damage to your train. All right, suddenly I'm a little worried now. My armor is at level eight, and it took this much damage over some simple shotgun blasts. Well, this is bad. Are we even going to beat Charles in that final battle? We have to, Joe. I swore I would, not just for this island, but also for Eugene. I will defeat him. I have an unnaturally bad feeling about this. Wait, is this where I think this is? Is this the place we started from the beginning? My goodness, what a long way we've come. Wait, this is where we started? Is my long lost cousin's body still here? I need to know. Guys, I don't think he's here anymore. He's gone now. This can't be. I was hoping to see him again. Give him another goodbye and tell him we had this in the bag. But he really is gone. My heart, all um, it's aching. It's okay, Joey. I know he's looking after you, wishing us the best of luck against this train demon. We have this in the bag, Joe. You're right, Donald. Eugene, just watch us. We got this. Anyways, let's fast forward in time to when something interesting happens. Where the heck is he? Oh no, the music's playing. Oh my gosh, why is he coming at me at a million miles an hour? Shut it and just get the train moving already. I swear to God, once I'm through with you, I'll make sure to fund money to a device that detects any signs of you, so that way we'd prepare airstrikes specifically for you. And once again, your rocket launcher is missing. Use something else, Donald. Gosh darn it. Come on, John, I love your rocket launcher, Tom, but why does it always miss? Look at Bob go. Despite being slow, he's slowing down Charles quite successfully. Wait a second, I just realized. Is it me or does Charles look angry? I can kind of see it. So he does have expressions after all? Now I really want to know what he looks like when he's afraid. Guess I'm going to have to snuff it out of him. Or he can just run away like a coward once again. Well, guess we're moving on normally then. All right, let's get a move on then, gentlemen. I've done it, boys. I've confused the heck out of him. I've already won this fight. I'm sorry, what fight? Man, oh man, we're finally here, boys. Can you believe it? Seriously, what a long way we've come. Feels kind of wild this is about to be the end of it all. Finally, it's time to get this over with. Kill that demonic spider train and dismantle the cult worshippers. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head on, gentlemen. That? Nope, see you later, buddy. You're not important right now. I don't feel like running back to my train just for you. Okay, let's hurry up before something happens. Is this truly it, guys? Are we finally at the end? We have all three of them here and ready for this thing. One. Two. Three. What the heck? Warren in the flesh? It's finally about time you showed your ugly face here. Donald, we seem to be in a pickle here. We can't run back to our train now, and there's a lot of shotguns pointed directly at us. What do we do, Donald? You know what we do? We say, screw you, Warren. I don't care what you have to say. Third egg in we go. No. No. You fool. You do Oh my gosh, he's right there. It already attracted Charles right here. Ah, dang. I suspected this much, but was hoping this wasn't the case. 
Is he getting larger? What the heck? Yep, we definitely have to get out of here. Definitely am running back to the train. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, he's eating Warren. He killed him. That gives us even more of a reason to run away. We can't risk being killed at all or else we'll be his dinner. All right, Charles, it's finally just us and you. We've come a long way to finally face off in a proper one-on-one, -on -one, and now's your end. You'll pay for Eugene's death, and you'll pay for the cult you spar. You're going down tonight, demon. I'm sorry, this thing can teleport now? How did that much power grant him teleportation? Gosh. He is so freaking massive. How can a spider train as grotesque as him get that much bigger? Look at those freaking massive spider legs. Guys, I don't have scraps. I think we're screwed already. You can't be serious, Donald. You have no scraps. No scraps, low on armor, and you've only chipped a fourth of his health away. Either something crazy will happen or this is a hard loss. Darn it all. This was supposed to be the big moment. Now we're totally screwed. What went wrong? Did I really need that many scraps? Probably so. Now look at your health. He's chipping you away as well. You're gonna die. Okay, seriously, this is really bad. This might be it, Donald. Brace yourselves! This can't be. Not like this. How could I lose to Charles because I didn't have scraps? I'm sorry, Eugene. It's all over. All right, time to get more scraps, and hopefully we'll have enough to fight Charles this time. Can't lose to him like that. Does this mean more country roading then, boys? Yes, Joe, this does indeed mean we'll be going through more of some rails. Excited or something? Absolutely. Let's get going, boys. I'm excited. Well, then, we'll get the show on the road. Hey guys, can I bring something up before we head back to fighting Charles again? Um, sure Joe, what is it? Of our time we've been riding this train, I don't think we've ever talked about each other's day and stuff. We've never really had a long and nice conversation while riding to our destination. Oh yeah, now that you mentioned it, we haven't really at all surprisingly. Well, uh, have anything you guys would like to talk about? Why not just talk about our day before we started recording this? I guess we could do that. How's all of our days been then? Joe, you start, then Obama, then me. My day's been all right. Me and my wife, Jill, got to visit a Super Smash Brothers tournament uh, my son was attending. It was a very interesting time there. I remember the crowd making some strange noises when they saw him play Pichu or something like that. I don't know what the commotion was about, but still, overall, a nice day. Uh, Joe? I think your son was cheating in a Super Smash Brothers melee tournament playing a blue Pichu. I know this because I actually heard about it on Twitter just an hour ago. Wait, are you serious? Moving on now. My day's been okay. I didn't really do anything with my wife today, but I did watch a movie with my son just a couple hours ago. We decided to rewatch a classic my son always watched back when he was a child. Space Jams, a timeless movie, could never go wrong with that movie. Wow, Space Jams? I feel like I haven't heard of that movie in ages. Sounds like you all had a nice day. My day was also good. My family and I went to a local church a little far from where I was at. Our original plan was just to see what the church was like, but instead the whole place broke out into cheering over me and my family. Eventually they continued with their worship and teaching of the gospel and was nice. Sometimes I forget you're a pretty set in stone Christian. I'm glad to know we all had a wonderful day today. I wish we could do this more often. Of course we can. In fact, we could just go to Donnie's place and ride that train again like we did last time. Oh yeah, random question, Barry. Remember when we escaped the back rooms, you said you'd be a follower of Christ if we succeeded? Yeah, actually, I've only looked a bit into the Bible so far, but the stuff on there is pretty interesting, although the one thing I have to admit I'm a bit confused about and wasn't pleased with was- All right, Charles, it's time for round two. This time, you're not gonna have it easy like last time. I even repainted my train yellow just for this occasion. Remind me why you did that, Donald. It's probably just because of the color of his hair, that's all. Well, whatever the reason, I hope you win this time, Donnie. You got this. Thanks, Joey. 
This time I'm smoking his little baby face into the dirt. This guy will wish he was never born to begin with. Your teleportation doesn't mean anything in the face of Donald J. Trump. I'm ready to finish you more than ever before. And this time now we have the scraps to spare for the extra help. We'll finally avenge my long lost cousin, Eugene. Charles will finally pay for his death. We're taking you down, Charles. Better part about this is that we won't need to deal with the cult anymore. Charles already did the dirty work for us. Once we're done with him, it's all over. It should tell you something that my rocket launcher is now landing its shots. You know, Charles, it's not too late to give up now. Persistent as always, this train is. He just won't let up. At least we have the scraps for him this time. Though I have to admit, I'm burning through more than I thought. Please don't say that like as if we're going to lose again. It is fine, Biden. I have more than enough to beat this guy down. I mean, look at his health. We've already chewed through more than half of it. We will, and I really mean it. We will win this. Having a hard time catching up, Charles? I'm starting to think your new teleportation powers isn't getting you anywhere. Sucks for you that we don't plan on sleeping on the job either. You will fall face flat beneath the island once I'm done with you. Face it, Charles, you've already lost. Look at the work Bob is putting in. Charles just can't catch up. Thank you, Bob, for this wonderful weapon. We've truly won this fight. Holy cow, Donald, he's almost done. How many scraps you got left? I think I have only one remaining, so I have to make this count. But judging from my health versus his, we're winning this, no doubt. What's happening, guys? I don't know, what is happening? It's the bombs, the plan is going into full motion. This is the end, Charles, we've won! Ah, so he does feel fear, I see. Oh my goodness, holy cow. Now that is how you kill a demonic spider train thing. We've cleared the mission, gentlemen, we're finished here. Eugene, I don't know if you can see us from the stars above, but we did it. Holy cow, finally we can end the video here. We've been recording for quite a while now, so shall we do the outro, guys? Absolutely, I don't see why not. We finished the game after all. Let's finally wrap it up like a neat present on Christmas. Well, viewers, that'll wrap it up for today's video. This was an absolutely crazy experience and journey we went through. So we hope you enjoyed the ride we went on. If you're still here by the end of it all, please consider liking, sharing, commenting the video, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps Jared and us presidents push more of these kinds of videos for you all. With how long it took to make this video, we hope you guys won't expect these too frequently. All of us, including Jared, are busy one way or another. But because of the insane amount of support every single one of you have given us, we'll be sure to release more of these videos in the later future. It truly means the world to us with how much you all love what we're trying to create. So we hope we won't disappoint you later down the line. It may not seem like it, but it really helps with suggestions on what games we could play. We promise we'll try to do more than just horror content. We'll bring out some wacky stuff as well. We also plan on doing more than just gaming as well. Right now, we don't have any set ideas on what yet, but once they come down the lane, we hope you'll be excited for those, even if it isn't gaming content. With all of that out of the way, it is time to say our goodbyes for now. We'll see you all soon. We promise. As always, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all. Wait a second, hold on. What the heck is this? Wait, another egg. But how? Where was this? Oh my gosh, where the heck is Donald and Barack when they need to see this? There's more eggs that Charles laid. I repeat, more eggs. We might be doomed.
again, you're out of stamina. This, this is bad. Come on, girl, just get your breath in and run, please. Joe, that is not how this works, my guy. Then what do you expect I do then? I don't know, Joe. Oh, my God. What the heck kind of game opens up with crickets and chip munching? Joe, that's not chip munching, that's your footsteps. Oh, what the heck, really? What game are we playing then, Obama? Just wait for the title card, give it a few seconds. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Isn't this the game you and Donald were talking about when we were running away from that ghost before? I'm actually surprised you remembered that. You'd be surprised how many things I can remember pretty well, especially something special, which will likely be this video, although probably for the wrong reasons. Wait, this just clicked with me. I'm in a forest. Why am I in a forest? I need some explaining. I don't remember the story or history that well, but from what I can remember, there's a legend that a demon with a tall figure and no face is roaming these parts. Wait, this thing has no face? And for some reason, you're here to find out if it's true or not while also collecting eight pages. What the heck kind of setup is this? There has to be more than that. There's no way you're convincing me. I just came here on my own free will. Well, from what I can remember, yeah, that's exactly how it went, actually. Whoever you're playing as chose to seal her fate here. Oh, man, this is one of the few times I need Donald here for more company. Where the heck is he of all times? I think he said something about playing golf or something. I have to look back at the text messages. Help me. Who the heck am I helping here? No way more people actually came out here as well. What the heck is that noise? Why does it sound like it's thundering nearby? I don't see any super foggy clouds or anything. That's actually the noise of the Slender Man getting triggered. What? How does me collecting that one singular page just pissed off a demon that roams a forest at night? I don't know, Joey. This is a video game where you're running from a supernatural demon. I quite frankly don't have any answers to your questions. Gosh, I'm getting a lot of PTSD from these trees at night. Doesn't help that there's just this truck in the middle of nowhere here, which means someone must have been in this area already. Hey, why is my screen getting fuzzy? Joe, you might want to get out of there. He's watching you nearby. Ah, uh, what? Seriously, how close is he? I don't know, but just get the page first, bro. What did that page say? I'm trying to dip as soon as possible. It said, no eyes always watches. What the heck does that mean? It's exactly what you think it means. He has no eyes and he's always watching you from a distance. That's exactly what I was hoping you wouldn't say. I thought you were maybe being figurative or metaphorical. What am I going to do if I see him? Just do what Donald did that one time. Pull the biggest 180 anyone has ever seen. I thought you'd say that, but was again hoping you were not gonna. I'm sorry, what the heck is this place? Looks like a mini worn down bathroom. Do I really have to go in there, Obama? I'm gonna give you exactly five seconds to think about the answer. Bet you $10 you'd get it. Okay, but what if I don't want to? Do you really believe you have much of a choice, Joey? I hate this game and we've been playing it for like three minutes already. Man, this place is giving me some bad memories about this one time I was in a camp school trip in sixth grade. Back when I was a kid, it was for some reason required of us to go to a camp field trip in the late years of elementary school. One time I had to take a leak when it was like 10.30 p.m., which was the time everyone was asleep or should be at least. I got up and brought myself to the restrooms, but as I was leaking, I heard grass rustles not too far from where I was at. I tried to find whoever it was that was watching me, but never saw anyone. Joey, are you sure that wasn't just a raccoon or some small critter going about? Forests usually harbor a lot of small animals. That is true, but it also harbors some dangerous creatures as well, like giant demonic spiders, exactly like Charles, except it's not a train and not nearly as big as him, but still big. These things are literally everywhere, though. You might as well just never go outside if you're that fearful of situations like that, which happen kind of rarely at our place. You act like as if I don't do that already. Then how the heck do you, as the current president of the United States of America, even give speeches in outside areas if you're that afraid of spiders in the restrooms? Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, what in what the world? What was that? Who's there here with me? Yeah. Joe, are you okay, bro? Just run for your life and stop moaning it out. What do you think I'm doing, Obama? I'm trying to run as fast as I can. Cut me some slack, I'm scared. You say that as you're running into the trees, my guy. Where else do you want me to run? We're in the middle of a forest, Barack Obama. 
Oh my gosh, you're not telling me I'm playing as a defenseless girl with no stamina now? Maybe if you would have saved it up beforehand, this wouldn't be an issue, Sleepy Joe. How was I supposed to know I was limited in how much I can run away? Everyone in their right mind should be in cross country if this demon exists. Wait, this literally just occurred to me. Did you just call me Sleepy Joe? I thought only Donald usually calls me that. All right, I'm gonna be honest and say I have no idea what just occurred to me. Gosh, I gotta get out of this tunnel. Oh, oh my gosh, he's still watching me. How do I run away from him? Joe, you can't. You could have, but your girl is low on stamina, and even then he'll still be on your back the whole game. So you're telling me there is zero way of fending him off? That is exactly what I am saying, Joe. Just run and keep tabs on him. How the heck am I supposed to do that if I'm also afraid to just even think about him getting near me? Just run, Joe. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, a fence. That means you're basically cornered, bro. Oh, what the heck? Where am I supposed to get? You're not going now, Barak. I don't know, Joe. I know this forest area as much as you do. Just pick a direction and book it fast. Oh, of course. That's my only option. Why must all horror games come down to this? I didn't write the rules here. Stop complaining and just please run. Oh man, this is bad. Oh my gosh, of course he's still behind me. Why wouldn't he be? This is seriously not helping that all I'm seeing is just more trees that go on and on. I feel like I'm stuck in a time loop or something. That's because you went out of path. So long as you don't find a normal road, you're stuck with these trees. And then which direction do you suppose I can go to without running into him then? I don't know, Joe, like I said before, I don't know everything about this game. It's been forever since I've last played or heard about this game. Oh my gosh, this just feels so horrible without someone who happens to know a lot, like Donnie. He'd probably know what to do. Well, the fact of the matter is he isn't here right now, Joey. Just keep going. Oh my gosh, something that isn't a tree for once. A truck! Maybe we can use this to get out of here. What are the chances it has a fuel in it? Chances of that are very low. Not many have been in these parts. And these trucks would, too, have been here for quite some time. Since there are boarded fences around the area. Okay, so no is what I'm hearing right now. It is a horror game after all. So what do you think, Joe? Well, if there's anything remotely positive I can think of, at least I'm no longer stuck in the middle of hundreds of trees. I'm actually on a road right now. Hey, something about that looks familiar. Did I just circle around or something? Oh gosh, yes you did, Joe. You're back at where you were like six minutes ago. You're going backwards. Well, it's better than nothing. At least I know where I'm at right now. But you still have the Slender Man tailing you and you barely even explored like half the map. Just how huge is this forest, Obama? This place is like the equivalent of four football fields. And I'm not even exaggerating either. Oh, what the heck? Seriously, why are we even here in the first place? Did people back then just had the balls to believe they can just walt into a forest with a known demon and do whatever the heck they wanted? Oh, you'd be surprised how many were this way. Many have died or lost their careers for that exact reason. Wait, are you serious, Obama? Have you seen how crazy cancel culture was these past few years? Oh no, I'm cornered again. Oh my gosh, Joe, you're scaring me with the amount of times you're basically running near out of bounds. I'm just paranoid, okay? This is my first time hearing about this game and now I'm playing it. I'm just picking a direction and praying this works out. Joe, you're about to run into him. Turn the other way, bro. Oh great, now I'm running backwards again. How the heck am I supposed to know where I'm going if the Slender Man is just gonna appear in the darkness? I seriously can't see anything out here. Joe, you need to settle down and just focus on beelining out of here. Okay, it's okay, I get it, Obama. I'm just scared is all. Uh, wait a second, Obama, I just realized something. Oh goodness, what now, Joey? This forest has been fenced off. But how did they do it without this slender guy getting out? If you're telling me he doesn't do a whole lot during the day, then that makes sense. But there's only so long that the sun's out for this thing to not escape this area. How did they keep this thing here? Okay, now that I think about it, I don't know. My guess is that the pages belong to the forest and the Slender Man harbors this area the most or something. Um, I don't think normal boarded fences can stop him. Oh, so now you're telling me there are no rules with dealing with this guy? He can just bypass the fences? I mean, he is a supernatural demon. What do you expect? He has no face and can teleport at will. What can he not do? I bet he can't pay taxes. Huh, got him. 
Huh? What? Where? What? How? Where am I? Where is he? Help me, somebody. Anyone? Holy cow, this is just a sad sight to see. Joe, run like the wind. Don't tell me to run like the wind if there's literally nowhere to run. I'm stuck in this fenced area with whatever this monster is, and I can't even see a dang thing in front of me. What am I supposed to do in this terrible situation? Joe, you have like zero other options here. I hate to break it to you, but running as fast as you can is literally your only other ability here. No guns, no weapons, just your legs only. Of course I'm that defenseless. Why must these horror games always put me in these super unrealistic situations? If any of this was real, I'd have the entire military guarding this place. <laughs> Screw this slender guy. I don't care if he somehow contributes to society. No demon is ever allowed in these parts. Wow, a bit rude much, but okay, buddy. Don't you dare try to defend this guy. He's trying to kill me. Don't tell me he's coming all this way to me for some death hug or choke. He clearly has evil intent. Just the three pages I've collected already tell me the full story here. Holy cow, Slender did not like what you just said there. Now he's really upset at you. Oh, great. Now this wind is putting up so much speed to the point it sounds like an angry ambiance. How the heck am I supposed to run now? He's probably going faster than me at this point. Just run, Joe. You have no other options here. Hurry before he catches you. Or what What happens if he does catch me? Now I'm terrified. I don't remember. All I know is it's something horrible and you probably should not want to know. Gosh, why is it so unbelievably dark now? I can hardly see a thing out here anymore. That's because your flashlight battery's running out of juice. It's been on for so long that it's already about to burn out. What the heck kind of flashlight battery is this? I've been out here for what feels like 20 minutes. No way you're telling me this battery life is that bad. Flashlights are known to last for hours. Joe, this is a horror game. Horror games don't often give you anything great in your pockets. At this point, that should be something to expect from this game. Uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is this construction? Where am I? He's literally on my tail. Is there a page here at least? Holy moly, yes there is. I have to be quick so I can go around him. It is actually quite concerning how long that took just to find one page after the third one. I know for a fact I'm not beating this. I'm gonna die eventually. There's no way I'm finding all eight if I just made it halfway through. Joe, I just realized, where the heck are you going, sir? I'm trying to run out of here. I don't care where I'm going. I just don't want to get caught. Wouldn't you get caught in the trees faster, though? Don't act like as if I have any better places to be. This is freaking forest. I have nowhere to run from this guy. I'm trapped, no matter where I head to. All right, I have nothing to dispute that with. You're kind of right, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, he was right there in front of me. I could have already almost died right there. I seriously can't see anything, not even where he is. And now once again, you're out of stamina. This is bad. Come on, girl, just get your breaths in and run, please. Joe, that is not how this works, my guy. Then what do you expect I do then? I don't know, Joe. Oh my gosh, oh what's my happening? Gosh, you've been caught. Uh, Brace uh, yourself. My eyes, they hurt. Help me. Uh, Joe, are you there, sir? Joe, wake up. You okay, bro? Huh? What? Oh, that's right. I died in Slender the 12 pages. Oh my goodness, Joe. What happened? Did you somehow pass out in those eight seconds or something? I think I just had a cardiac arrest from how horrific that sequence was. My soul feels like it's still trying to exit out of me. Excuse me, what? Can we play something oh. else now, Obama? Hey, what's going on here, you two? Whoa, what the heck, Trump? Whoa, Donald. Did you get back from your golf game or something? No, but me and my wife are on our way back home. We just finished up here. Oh, awesome. Anyways, what are you doing here, Donnie? I was just dropping by to see if you two are still playing Slender the Eight Pages. Actually, Joe just about finished playing here, but we've only recorded around like 16 minutes of this, though. 16 minutes? Oh no, you know how Jared edits these videos. He can compress an entire hour's worth of recording and make them as short as 10 minutes somehow. You might have to keep going, I'm sorry. Huh? I suspected as much. I was actually planning on taking over the second part of the gameplay just to increase the duration of the video. What? Always on point with our agenda for these videos. Anyways, I don't know when I'll be back, but hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you later, Donald. Have a safe ride back. Thanks, you two have fun, even if it's without me. See you shortly. I'm sorry, Joe. I cannot tell you how tempted I am to just leave the call right now and not experience this again. Don't worry, Joe, I'll be the one playing the game right now. If you ever need to, you could just look away from the screen if it scares you that much. Wait, I can do that? Didn't Donald say something about not doing that because I won't get the proper experience by doing so? You already got the proper experience of the game, so I don't think Donald would mind too much, I think. Oh, yay, thank goodness.
There was something I was going to say before I got jumped by the Slender Man. And what was that, Joe? I'm going to start paying every single school in any district to make sure their students can get decent enough in cross country. With this being alive and roaming these parts, the ability to hightail the heck away from him is very essential. A little random to bring up, but makes sense, I guess. And so it begins again. You've said you had already played this before, right? How long has it been? Ah, man, it's been a long while, but something about it almost feels like yesterday. I remember first playing this during when it was first out, which was about 11 years ago. It was such a big hit, the original site it was on at one point crashed because of how many visited it. What days those were. Golly, must have been the days if you remembered it so well, huh? I mean, admittedly, this was during the time I was in office, but still, quite the days I missed. Oh my gosh, I collected only one page and he's nearby? Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. How does the Slender Man even sleep? I thought demons usually are awake at night. I don't know. Maybe they just sleep during the day or something. I guess that's why day is usually referred to as the light. Demons never want to invade foreign land when it's the wake of day. Well, that's semi-true. I've heard stories of actual demon possessings in the past. It was wild to see. Wait, are you serious, Obama? Yeah, stuff like that happened even during the day. In fact, I wouldn't be too surprised if it's still happening right now. Dang, I didn't think the Slender Man was actually real this whole time. Holy cow, the second page already. Hey, shouldn't you be a bit worried where Slender is? He might be close by, especially since you're getting your second page and all. Don't worry, Joe. I'm making sure I have my tabs on him. So far, the coast seems to be clear. Where the heck are you right now? What is this place? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. This area was a place not many have visited, including me, or at least I don't remember this area that well, to be honest. Uh, oh my gosh, what, what was that? Where the heck even is he right now? Your screen didn't even get fuzzy from that. He must be somewhere around the corner or something. What the heck was that about? I still don't even see him and the crickets are back. I don't know, but maybe you should run, Obama. I know, I know, but I have to save up my stamina so it would be easier to run from him later. Oh gosh, there's no page in here? Now we might be cornered? I don't know. At least it saves us from... The trouble of having to get out of the dank bathrooms with Slender more aggressive. Yeah, maybe, but would have preferred to have found one at least. Oh, okay, found him. He's right behind me. But why aren't you running, though? Like I said before, I'm trying to save up my stamina for when he gets more aggressive. If I run out of breaths too early, it'll be easier for him to catch up. But how do you know he's not catching up to you right now? I'll just keep looking behind me to make sure he's still just barely on my... Okay, he is not on my tail. He was just right in front of me. Jesus. Oh my gosh. You only have two pages and he's already upset at you. Guess someone really woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Well, let's just get out of here quick. Holy cow, that took a bit of time just to find something in the blue truck like before. Dang it, no page here at all, just my luck. How many of these places are there that have these pages? I, I can't remember too well, but I, I remember that there was kind of a lot. All I do know is that no page ever appears on some random tree in the middle of England. It will always appear in some sort of interesting location. Examples being the dead giant tree, the trucks, the bathrooms, or the weird giant rocks. Wow, so you're telling me I just went into those trees for basically nothing? I thought a page would just show up there or something. Well, unfortunately for you, that wasn't the case at all. I'm sorry, Joe. Oh, I can barely see it, but it's in fact another page. Why the heck is there just this big, long construction looking tube just in the middle of nowhere? How did it even get in this forest? I don't know. One random theory might be that there was a construction somewhere nearby and the Slender did something to them that caused some sort of mishap. I'm sorry, wait, to just how old is this Slender guy? If something like that happened, that would have had to have been at least a century ago, maybe. The fact that part of the tube looks to have been submerged into the ground already gives me the impression that this tube is old. Slender's actually really old? I don't know how old? but supposedly thousands of years old. And just like that, I'm done trying to understand this game. Okay, so he's directly behind me this time. No guarantees he's gonna just stay aligned with me though. Okay, suddenly I'm afraid. He's already no longer behind me and it's been like a few seconds. Where did he go? 
You had him in your sights beforehand. I don't know. I really have no idea where he went when he was just behind me like five seconds ago. Well, this is just fantastic. We might be screwed. Oh, hey, look, it's that Walls thing you found earlier. Wow, that's kind of cool. Just hope this, there's at least a page here or something. Yep, there it is, the fourth page. Wow, that's a whole lot of nose on it. Because someone was certainly not having it when drawing that. Do you perchance have some sort of interesting recurring memory coming back? No, not that I can think of anything right now. Dang it. Oh my gosh, how about you run instead? That's what I'm doing right now. Man, curse my inability to remember the map of this place. This place presenting me two choices is very daunting. Doesn't help that this forest is freaking massive. Pick one and you'll likely get lost. I'm already lost in this massive land? You know, now that I think about it, I do remember this one time me and my friends were at another campground trying to learn about the wonders of squirrels. One time this one kid all of us hated because he was considered the school bully, decided to provoke a squirrel in a lot of ways possible. Oh my goodness, where the heck is he? Oh, oh gosh, once again, I'm frightened. Come on, stay with me, Joey. Just continue that story you're talking about with the squirrel and the bully. Oh, really? Okay, anyways, one method this bully did that was considered his favorite was getting the squirrel off the tree he was peacefully resting in. One time the bully actually brought over his own dodgeballs and would chuck it at the squirrel. Eventually he struck it and the squirrel was sent flying far. The poor buddy. What the heck kind of classmates did you have? Anyways, what happened afterwards, Joe? Well, since our teachers were usually pretty bad at their jobs of preventing school bullying, he got away scot-free, or at least that's what we thought. We're not 100% sure what happened, but that school bully was never seen again. Someone outside of our group claims she saw him get taken by the squirrel brethren. However, to this day, we still don't know how he disappeared. I'm sorry, did you say a group of squirrel might have taken the school bully? Yes, I did. Did you miss something else? I don't know if I can repeat that whole story again. Um, you know what? Never mind. All right, whatever you say, Obama. Hey, doesn't that kind of look like the tree I saw in the beginning? Yes, it does meaning I somehow must have sent myself in the beginning of the map. Did I just go in a full circle somehow? I don't know. I wouldn't know, to be honest. Oh, great. Now he's pissed. Is this the part where you consider running now? Yes, absolutely. Especially since he was pretty close behind me. I'm running now. You happy? Yes. It makes me happy to know that you're finally utilizing your legs, finally. Cannot tell you how on edge I was this whole time. Holy cow, it is so unbelievably dark out here. I was barely even able to see the red truck. Am I even gonna find a page here? Hopefully so, if I was able to find one here, you should too. Holy cow, now I just gotta get going, but I don't know where he's at right now. I don't know either, but I advise you use those legs of yours. Oh gosh, don't mind if I do use them. He's really close by. What are we gonna do, Obama? You only have six of eight and he's really mad. I don't know, Joe. All I can do is run. I don't even know if I can find the last two pages. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh my gosh, turn around. Oh my turn gosh, around. how did he teleport? No, no, like no, not that? again. What the heck, bro? All right, we're done with the game. Six out of eight is fine with me. Oh my gosh, Joe, are you there? This is one of the few times I need Donald here to wake him up. Sleepy Joe, we need you to wake up right now, sir. Oh, what was that? Oh, wait, Donald. Wow, that was perfect timing. It's a strong suit of mine after all, so it shouldn't be too big of a surprise. Anyways, we're just about to wrap things up with this video. Do you still want to be part of the outro, Donald? Sure, I don't see why not. No, just for you jump scaring me like that and not being part of most of this video. No, Trump, you're sitting out on this one for today. Oh, uh, okay, sure, I guess. Well. Cue the outro then, I guess. Sorry, Donnie. Nah, it's all right. Kind of curious how you two will do this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video we brought for you all today. It was a interesting one, to say the least. Please, I beg you all to not make me play something like this again. This was just too much. But if you really did enjoy the video, please consider giving this video a like and or a comment, along with subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps us make more of these types of videos for you all. As Donald, I think, would usually say, don't expect these too frequently. We're all busy with stuff we're doing in real life, but we promise as always to get these out there no matter how hard it may be for us. As always, take care.
and God bless you all.